Hey friends, my name is Aaron Ciotti. Everybody calls me Ciotti. Why is that so dark? <laughs> Welcome to Whoop Wednesday. Uh, that's why it's so dark. There we go. That's a little bit better. A little darker over here. I did that on purpose. A little bit more moody. I don't know. Uh, we are going to see today if the diversity uh, 5.8 to USB module is as good as the single antenna one. Um, somebody pointed out that the, uh, the um, there's like some blinking and it kind of goes dark and I watched the stream uh, from a couple nights ago from maybe Friday um, and I noticed it. So we're gonna fly a few batteries uh, on that current one and then we're going to swap over to this one, which is the exact same thing, uh, but just with one antenna instead of two. I think maybe the diversity switching is what's blinking. Um, and yeah, we don't really need that. So we're going to try that. Uh, we are going to swap a shitload of different motors on and off quads. Uh, I've only got one ultimate freestyle build that's like fully put together right now. Um, and that's just silly. So this is my excuse to, uh, fix a couple of those, not fix, but just put them back together. Um, and I've got a whole bunch of motors sitting here. So I thought it would be cool to, we've done this once before where, um, as I'm doing Q and a, I just sit here transplanting motors onto frames, transplanting the AIO and camera from one frame to the next, um, so yeah let's do it again what do you say and then uh mailbag another box from tiny whoop with some really cool stuff in it and if anybody is looking for if anybody has the og uh so i contacted uh um uh, oh god what was his name Quadbot helped me find uh, Skirty Curtis, uh, who was the one that was looking for a split, uh, a QAVS Bardwell edition split top plate. Um, he has moved to different frames. Uh, so 
if you've got a QAVS, I believe it's called the QAVS, um, with the split top plate and you can't, well, not end, but you can't get these split top plates anymore. Uh, thanks to Frank Nicholas, I have one. Uh, I have the entire frame actually. So um, yeah, if you've got one of those, eventually you're gonna break the split top plate and you're not gonna be able to get a replacement. So if you're interested in buying, I think the entire extra frame, um, message me and uh, we'll figure something out. So yeah, I've got one. I, I might even have two. I, I, I gotta look, I, I think I might've had a full split top plate QAVS frame that I was hoarding because I was gonna do a full Joshua Bardwell build. Um, but then at some point I got my hands on the newer version of it, which is not the split top plate. Um, so now that's going to be my build. I have a Bardwell, um, flight controller, ESC. Um, I think I wasn't supposed to say that he has an ESC. Shh. Uh, his old camera, uh, the, um, the Bardwell edition run cam micro Eagle old school. Uh, and it's going to be like an LED build. Uh, I've got a ton. I, I've, I've like hoarded all of my extra LEDs, you know, since it's a, uh, a, since it's not a glide frame, basically, it's just going to sort of be a for fun build and for fun builds should have all the LEDs in the world on them. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to see how many LEDs I can cram onto it. That build is super low priority. Um, it's been on the back burner just over here in, in one of the cubes for a long time. Um, but yeah, I'm, I just sort of hoard part. That's, that's kind of what I do with this, um, with this cube here is to hoard parts. Each, uh, each square has a different rig that I'm sort of hoarding parts for. Um, this is a, uh, an apex over here on kiss that doesn't fly right because kiss is a nightmare. Um, this is where the, the Bardwell build lives. Um, this is a racing build. Uh, this is the 250. Uh, up here is the uh, toothpick cube with the, the ghost Vista pick that has the shitty AIO in it. Uh, this is... Oh, this this actually has my frame in it. Uh and then this cube has this wacky um, D-Quad Mini LRX. Uh, this is a two inch rip squeak over here that I'm gonna put prop guards on. And then up top, this is the, the Tiny Whoop cube that all the Tiny Whoops hang out in, the finished Tiny Whoops though. Uh, this is the AOS three and a half here. Uh, these are the two uh, live streaming rigs, which are complete. And then this is a funny cube. This has a, a little um, 1.6 inch mosquito uh, toothpick, as well as the Bobito, as well as the big and little props. Hold on. The, uh, <laughs> this is a, what is this, an eight inch? This is a 10? What is this? Is this a nine? Hold on. What the hell is this prop? This is only, it's actually only a seven inch. Jesus. Uh, so yeah, seven inch tri-blade and 1.2 inch tri-blade. I just think it's it's super funny that the, the tiny propeller almost fits in the hub of the of the seven inch tri-blade. Um, so yeah, now you know what the uh, what the hell's going on back here in the four by four Ikea cube. Um, you gotta be careful with these four by four Ikea cubes. They're not very strong. Definitely don't put uh, vinyl in them. Uh, it's it's like an, an ongoing forever joke in the vinyl community uh, of people that buy this four by four, uh, four cube by four cube Ikea Kallax and then fill it with uh, albums and, and it just collapses. <laughs> it just, because it, it's, you know, uh, the, um, Christ, uh, one of these things, one of these things filled with vinyl has to be at least 50 pounds. Um, so we're talking 
200 pounds on the top layer, another 200 on the, on the second layer. Um, so yeah, you're talking like a thousand pounds of vinyl on there. And not the ones on the bottom would really do anything, but the ones on the top certainly would. Um, I wouldn't even trust a three by three. I, I have a, a, a um, three by three over there. There it is with the helmets on it. I wouldn't even trust that with uh, with vinyl. Um, the two by twos are what you want for vinyl. And then and then you can do, if, if you need more storage, you can do two by two, two by two. You could probably even stack them up. But yeah, the, the two by twos have the nice strong, out, like the, the, on these things, the outside is very strong, but the inside dividers couldn't be weaker. Um, so if you have, for two by twos, you've got twice as much of the nice strong outside parts. Yeah, that's a strange conversation to have at the beginning of a live stream. What's up, friends? Uh, Fading Goat was first. Brandon's Baked Beans was next. Frank Nicholas, Hockey Rounds 3D, Upside, Tree Prelog, Aaron Mueller, JP Spin FPV, Bob Bruce, Flush FPV, Riot Nine, Joe Filmed, uh, Douglas Otwell, Daniel 1964, Northern Tier, Mick Mucus, Kevin Sumner, Zach. Free Lojo, Storm Rider, uh, Newt McFly, Riot Nine, Brent Anderson. Uh, where did I go? There it is. CMYK FPV is here. Riot Nine again. Al Mac FPV, FPV Graybush, Brent Anderson again. Uh, Brandon's Baked Beans, Ethan W, and Squitchy. What's up, friends? Uh, if you want to talk directly to me, all I got to do is type Ciotti FPV into the chat. When you do that, it will light up an orange like this. You can do that with each other. If you type Bob space Bruce for Bob, his name in your chat message will be lit up in orange and then he'll respond to you kind of like in real life when you know you walk up to someone you say their name and then you talk to them do it yo uh okay so first bit of uh of building i'm gonna do here while i'm looking through the chat is this guy right here i'm gonna give these uh prototype 0802s another shot um last time i did this they as soon as i armed it they just oscillated to the moon uh i asked the uh folks that sent me these if anybody else has had that experience and nobody else has so yeah either i built this wrong or maybe my set are out of balance or something like that uh but we're gonna give them another shot here so let me just get this kind of situated a little bit here and we'll dive into the chat and kind of get going uh we're gonna fly this um 75 millimeter freestyle walk snail build on the 802 25,000s tonight and then we're gonna switch it to the 802 27,000s and then we're gonna switch it to the flywoo 1002 23,500s um so that'll be very fun uh, what else? Uh, you're going to get to see 0702 32,000s versus 0603 30,000s, a fresh set that Jesse from Tiny Whoop sent me, which is very cool, uh, versus 702 36,000s. So that'll be very fun. Maybe even uh, we'll also throw 802 33,000s in into the mix. Um so that'll be very fun to see those kind of head-to-head. Uh, most of these builds are going to be on the Weebleed crown frame. Some of them will not. Uh, in, in, the, in, in the tons of batteries that I've put through uh, the Weebleed crown frame, um, it, like in terms of flight performance and, and weight and whatnot, it's, it's close enough to the... Uh, it's close enough to the Meteor 65 frame and the, um, all of these frames are pretty close in performance. So the fact that we're bouncing, we're going to be bouncing back and forth on frames really isn't going to affect any of this testing that we're doing. Man, that's stripped right on out. That's a bummer. That means I'll be cutting the, uh, the ducts off this frame. I think one of the, uh... One of the, did, did one of these other screw did, does this frame have two stripped out screw holes? It does not. It's the orange frame, the orange 
uh, we bleed frame, I stripped out the, the front screw hole. I gotta be a little bit more careful with these. Um, yeah. These uh, Happy Model screws that they give you with the uh, canopy, they're a little short. Um, I might order a set of M1.2 by like eight, I think would be maybe like one unit longer than these, uh, and that'll fix the problem. I like to crank these canopy screws because good Lord, this canopy gets tortured. Um, and by cranking these down a little bit more, it squishes these grommets. Um, just feels like the right thing to do. Maybe it's not. Uh, if they're stripping out, then it's probably not. <laughs> it's probably not the right thing to do. Uh, all right, I do have a set of props for these. I mean, hell, for all I know, these these props that I put onto these motors were no good. I doubt it. Uh, in the chat. Barb Bruce says, uh, how's that gangles CID FPV? What's going on, everyone? Fanny Goat says, why is it every time I place an order from an FPV website, I realize you need some stupid $5 part of the day it ships? Yep, that's why um, I have two tiny boxes in a row uh, because of exactly that. The, the day that I placed the order for the uh, Firefly motors that night, um, I realized that they had the um, Beta FPV U-shaped BT 2.0 leads. Uh, and so, yeah, I forced myself to place another order. It's kind of like punishment. I, I, I like punish myself for making that mistake by doing another order. CMYK says, what's good, gangly gang? And, ooh, uh, free Lojo dropping the Patreon link. Thank you, dude. This is my full-time job, friends. If you like these live streams and would like to see them continue, help a brother out and uh, head on over to CIDFPV.com. There's a ton of different ways to help me. Uh, Patreon definitely helps me out the most. Uh, you can join my Patreon for seven and a half cents per hour. How's that for a for a an hourly wage? Seven and a half cents uh, is what you'll pay me per hour of live streaming content per month if you join my Patre Patreon at the lowest tier. Um, if a whole bunch of you do it, it works really well, which you have, and and, and it's amazing. Uh, if you hop up a tier to the $5 a month tier, you can enter yourself into Tiny Whoop and Toothpick giveaways on the first Monday of every single month. Uh, so there's one of those coming up. It's a great time to jump in. Uh, the $10 a month tier is going to enter you into three inch micro to win three inch micro brushless and Cinewhoop parts. Uh, the $20 a month is going to enter you to win uh, five inch parts. And then if you've got an extra dollar a day, you can get into all three of those giveaways every single month on the $30 and up tier. Um, and yeah, those are the folks that win a lot of those giveaways. Most of those giveaways have at least 40 or $50 worth of stuff. Sometimes they've got 80, 90, hundred dollars worth of stuff in them. So at some point you will win a giveaway and that'll pay for like a bunch of months of your Patreon. Um, so yeah, lots of folks stay on for a long time because it ends up being really, really fun and it supports me a lot. Uh, and you know, you win stuff. Who doesn't want to win stuff? CIDFPV supporting gambling addiction since 2019. Is that right? 2020, 2019. I don't remember. Uh, what else is happening over here? There's an Etsy store where you can buy some really fun stickers and some random hardware. Uh, there's a Teespring store where you can get really fun shirts. Not like this shirt. This is a, a blip shift shirt with all four generations of of Miata on it. Uh, in 1989, they started making the NA Miata, not NA as in naturally aspirated, NA as in like the chassis code. Uh, and they weighed 2,120 pounds. In 1998, they started to make the second generation, which is what mine is. And they were eh, 2348 is a little bit heavy. Uh, 95 that, not 95, 2005, they started making the NC Miata, the one that everybody hates, uh, which was even fatter at 2,450 pounds. And then look at this shit. I don't think any any car manufacturer has ever done this. In 2015, they started making the ND Miata and it was lighter. Try to find a car that, that the next generation of it was lighter than the last. That's not like a supercar. I don't know if that's ever happened before. Mazda is, is the greatest. 
Uh, and if you disagree, you're just wrong. So it's okay to be wrong. It's fine. I know more than you when it comes to cars. I probably do. <laughs> I've been in the cars hard for uh, over 20 years now. Um, it's okay to not know not know the most about something. It's all right. There's always somebody that knows more. I'm I'm only the one that knows the most in this small group of people here. Throw another couple hundred people into the mix, and there's somebody that knows more. Uh, what else? Uh, there's a whole bunch of affiliate links here. Uh, affiliate links are the best, and if you don't use them, you're going to hell. I have affiliate links for Weedlead FPV, Newbie Drone, FPV Cycle, Amazon, Get FPV, Umagod, Brain 3D, HD Zero, Flywoo, Emacs, Banggood, and Camera Butter. Oh, AliExpress as well. Um, all you have to do is hit the affiliate link at any point before you check out. When you hit an affiliate link, my code goes into that shopping cart. If the shopping cart gets like deleted or whatever, you got to do it again. Um, what a lot of brilliant folks have done is just replace their bookmarks with my and other content creators affiliate links at this point you know there there are content creators with affiliate links to every single website known to man so if you're doing an order on the internet try to find somebody's affiliate link and support them so they can keep making cool stuff for you to watch here on youtube for free uh i also have a fiverr page where you can work together with me take advantage of somebody with eight years of experience in this that has been paying close attention to the technical side of things and really paying attention to the right answers to stuff. Um, for the love of God, stop going on Facebook groups and listening to anything that anyone says on there. They are like 80 plus percent bad, wrong info. It is staggering how useless Facebook groups have become from like brand new pilots that think that they know everything even seasoned pilots that, that think that they know everything, but, you know, th all of their knowledge has come from Facebook groups. So be careful with that. Find people that have actually tested uh, and used this stuff personally um, that are not sponsored uh, and that have tested more than just one of something. If you've tested just one of something, you don't know anything. You know that it doesn't rape children, but you don't know whether it's good compared to anything else. That's a, that's a stretch. Kevin the Alien says, why does everyone hate the NC? Um, because it's, it's heavier than the other ones. Um, and to be honest, I think it's the styling. I, I, I think the styling is why everybody hates it. Um, the NC is actually kind of magic, uh, especially if you get one of the early ones and then swap one of the older two and a half liter uh, engines in. Uh, you can make a good amount of power and it becomes a really, really, really fun track day car. Uh, so yeah. Or th the other thing that the NCs are cool with is just making a bunch of power. I've driven a few, um, 350, 400, 450 horsepower, uh, turbo NCs. Um, and they have bigger, you can basically just fit bigger tires under them. Um, so you can make more power with them. Uh, NAs and NBs you can really only fit like a 225 if you really work you can put a 245 under there um but the ncs you can put like a 255 265 um so you can make a, a bunch more power um nas and nbs just because of tire width limitations um anything over like 250 horsepower and it just it, it's not balanced anymore it, it becomes um a real handful and you're just pedaling it all the time, and that drives me crazy. I want something that I can mat in second gear and have it actually hook and go. Um, so yeah, there's that. But I won't dive down the the motorsport rabbit hole like I usually do. Tuner Taxi says hi. Quad Mafia says hello, good sir. Uh, hey, uh, 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 Rotor Riot has announced the dates for Rampage. I posted on my Instagram stories. I'm sure it's over there on their website. Uh, it's basically the same weekend as last year. So. Um, I think it's May, May 16th, maybe. Don't quote me on that. It's on their website. Um, so, yeah. Uh, one says, hey, just got here. Have you talked about Kebab's video yet? Uh, I didn't see that he has a new one, but let me look at the thumbnail of it. Oh, interesting. Why some prefer HQ over Gemfan. Oh, my God. I can't wait to watch that. Oh, very cool. Very, very, very cool. Uh, yeah, I have not had a chance to take a look at that yet. Uh, but I can't wait. As soon as the stream is over, 
I'm uh, I'm down. Freelojo says today is uh, Wednesday, January 24th. Thank you for the reminder. I'm never gonna forget. If you guys don't remind me, I will not remember. I don't know why. Ethan W says my final verdict on the Pusher 65 millimeter wax nail build is it flies better than the Puller style rigs. I would recommend that build to anyone trying to get somewhat cinematic footage. Um, Ethan, are you comparing it to itself, or are you comparing it? <laughs> <laughs> To other, to other builds that have like similar uh, equipment, um, yeah. And what like wh when you say that it flies better, what what's that mean? Like like be be more specific. What what's better about it? More runtime, more power, um, better during dives, less prop wash. Uh, give us a little more than better. Better is is just such a. Yeah, it's it's just such a broad kind of term. Tyler Walker says, thanks for your help on my build. Uh, I was getting one one and a half to two minute flight time on HD0 Fractal 65. Uh, Happy Model flight controller went bad, replaced with Happy Model Super X, 411 HD, and plastic frame, and now I get three minutes flight. How the hell are you getting three minutes out of a, an HD0 rig? Good Lord. Um, that's a lot. Happy Model Super X, um, get, uh, get Blue J.16 on there. Uh, I have a couple of videos on my channel about how to do that. Just use the little search feature. For anybody that doesn't know, this is one of the most magic things on YouTube. If you go to someone's channel, you can click on this tiny little magnifying glass here, and this will search only their channel. So if we search... Blue Jay, not Blue Jai. Uh, here it is. Blue Jay uh, 191817 has problems. Revert back to, one point, uh, to 0.16 to fix. Uh, in this video, I will give you the link to it. Oh, I didn't put the link in the, in the description. Let me do that right now. Uh, copy. All right, so the link is now in the description and then in this live stream I explain to you how to do it it's pretty straightforward you could probably figure it out uh, and thanks to yikes uh, thanks to quad bod and or uh, Apache smoke with the sniper there are timestamps here so if we click on Here we go. Here's how you roll back to Blue Jay Point One Six. So an hour, eight minutes, and forty-four seconds in is when we start to do that. Cool. Uh, yeah, that uh, Super X is one of the AIOs that has problems on Blue Jay One Seven One Eight One Nine. So get it back to One Six, and hopefully it'll last longer. Um, that's an AIO that has a lot of issues. A lot of people hate that AIO. Um, I gave mine away because it wasn't working, and then whoever I gave it to uh, put Blue Jay point one six on it, and it came back to life, and it was fine. Um, so yeah, get one six on there, and you should be able to get a longer lifetime out of it. Maybe like for maybe there really are no uh, issues with it, and the issue is has always been Blue Jay for people. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm not getting another one to find out. But, yeah, there's that. All right, so I've got these props on these prototype motors here. I just got to plug them in. Uh, Kevin the Alien says, oh, no, we got that. Kevin James says, where can I find those screws for canopies? Uh, eBay. Uh, if, if, if you're talking about longer screws... Uh, they're just M1.2. And so what I know is that M1, M1.2 by 12 are the screws that you want for the walk snail builds uh, where you've got double grommets. Uh, I'm guessing that M1.2 by 8, maybe M1.2 by 6 uh, would be the right screw length for 
just having uh, some extra threads on a single stack, regular old tiny whoop build. Um, and yeah, on eBay, if you just type in to eBay M12, M1.2 by whatever, it'll pop up. What the hell's happening here? The, the shrimp wrap came off here. What's going on? Is this the problem with this? Hold on. I might have just found the issue. Oh, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, I do need to get this shrink wrap back on here, though. Oh, there it goes. Okay, that's fine. Is it rubbing on the bell, though? Yeah, shit. All right. I'm going to take this motor off and figure out this shrink wrap situation here. Uh, Mo FPV says, you'll be running Micro Mayhem, Mo Mayhem again? I will indeed. Uh, would love to meet you. Yeah, man, I will be there most of the time, uh, especially like during the day. During the day, I'll be there a lot. Uh, I'm trying to get up there on Thursday this year uh, to get it built out a little bit earlier, but no promises on that. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what's happening at the time. Oh, man, this is uh, this shrimp wrap came right off here. And now it is being a bastard to try to get it back on there. Frillo just says, my Mobula 6 AIO came with BL Heli 16.8. It is not on the ESC config. No way. What's the um, what's the uh, the code in when when you go into ESC configurator? What's the code for the for the FETs or for the processor or whatever the hell it is? It's going to be like a letter underscore a letter underscore a number. So like AH5 or AH10 or AX5 or AX10. Uh, that's annoying that it's not in there. Have, where have you checked? Have you checked? Um, uh, have you checked 0 0.17, 0 0.18 and 0 0.19? If not, definitely do that. Come on, shrink up, shrink wrap. There we go. Now the shrink wrap is not touching the bell. Okay, perfect. Uh, that's a very uncommon thing that that just happened. So don't don't worry about that. If you don't know what I was just doing, you 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 won't need to know. Basically, they they put a little piece of shrink wrap um, to protect the solder joints where they connect to the PDB on the bottom of the motor. And if that shrink wrap is a little bit too tall, it will contact the bottom of the bell. And these motors are so little that they can like barely overcome the, uh, the resistance of the shrink wrap rubbing on the bottom of the bell. So you gotta always make sure that you have a tiny little gap there between the, the shrimp wrap and the, uh, and the bottom of the bell. Uh, Riot Nine says, "Question above by Rubiloa, Ru Ruiloa, Ruiloba. Jesus, uh, Ruiloba says, what do you think about Pavo Pico and Pavo 2003? Uh, they're super impressive from like other people's videos. Um, I nobody really sends me anything to test, and I, I certainly can't afford any of these O3 rigs. They're just so goddamn expensive." Um, but loads of people have reviewed them. Uh, I always go by Nick Burns's review and then, uh, reviews, and then I'll check maybe like one more. Uh, but realistically, like Nick's reviews, uh, Nick and, and Joshua Bardwell's reviews are really the only ones. I don't know. I'll just say that they're the only ones that I kind of pay any attention to, um, so yeah, check those out. I, I know that Nick has reviewed those, uh, both of those. And yeah, he's a great guy, very smart. He's tested loads of stuff. Um, he's not bought and paid for, uh, you know, he does it for fun. So he's not beholden to one manufacturer over the other. If something sucks, he's gonna tell you it sucks. Um, so yeah, his reviews are always amazing. Uh, thank you for letting me know, Riot9. Market Zero says, FYI, uh, that's not a Miata shirt. There's no such thing as a 1989 Miata. Call it a Mazda or MX-5 shirt. Um, I thought did we I thought we got them in 89, didn't we? 
When did the U.S. get the Miata? Yeah, February. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, it premiered in '89, um, but it only went on sale in in '90. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I always think of it as as an '89 because because um, that's when it was unveiled. Uh, Denzel the Terrible says, "Hey, friends, good to see you all." Kevin James says, "Thank you." Ordered. H uh, H Rich says. Just made the order from Tiny Whoop. Best shopping experience for a long time. Thirty-two thousand on the way. Um, hope they are soon, so I soon so I can ditch these nineteen thousand. Much love to you and the gang. Thank you, dude. Uh, Free Ledger says O H five. All right, so let's see O H five. This is how you look it up. This is the link to to point one six, and then we got to wait for this to load. All right, so we're gonna go O underscore H. I'll be damned. Yeah, at bottom. <sighs> My mouse is starting to go. No, no, no. There it is. There it is. You're good. OH5. OH5 in 24, 48, and 96. Um, so, yeah, do the OH548 and uh, you'll be good to go. I just dumped it into the chat. Uh, OH5 BLLES 16.8. Oh, 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 you were saying, uh, I get what you were saying. You were saying it's, not, it's okay, it's in BL Heli. No, 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 get it over to Blue Jay, man. Blue Jay.16 is legitimately better than any of the BL Heli releases. Like, it actually makes more power. Um, so, yeah, do it, brother. You'll, uh, you'll, like, I can literally tell the difference in power between BL Heli and Blue Jay, as long as it's one of the Blue Jays that works. Which is most of them, but still. Uh, all right, this is gonna be the first thing that we put up in the air. This will give us some time to get uh, chat filled up a little bit more, and we'll do mailbag at some point here. But let's get these motors spinning the right way, and I'm gonna back the PID tune off a little bit just so that to to make absolutely sure that uh, we can fly this thing and test these motors. So these are prototype 802s. They are. 23,500 kV, I believe. Yep, 23,500 kV. Uh, we're going to run them on Gemfan Biblades first, and then we're going to move them to um, Triblades. Blizzard, uh, Blizzard FPV with a two Canadian Californian dollar super chat. He says, two bucks is two bucks unless the conversion sucks. <laughs> I like it. Uh, all right, let's come in here to motors, and this is on 4.3, so it might go bananas. Let's... Hope that it doesn't. Nope, we're good. Motor one is wrong. Let's switch it. Motor two is right. Motor three is right, which means that motor four is gonna be wrong, yep. All right, stop motors, close. And so we're gonna come in here to PID tuning and I'm just gonna chill that, wow, this tune is chilled out already. Uh, I am not going to back this tune off any more than it already is. Uh, if these motors won't work with this tune like this, uh, then yeah, they are <laughs> dead to me. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> they're not worth testing. All right, here we go. This battery is a little bit beat up. Let me just straighten it out. If, if you're having... If you're having problems getting your batteries into the battery bay, it's because the front of the battery here has been smashed into like your hardwood floors or whatever a bunch and it has flattened out. Take the battery on a flat surface, put it sideways and roll it and that will roll this like folded part of the cell. So you take the battery, you turn it sideways and you stick it straight up your candy ass and that'll fix it. It'll have poop all over it, but it'll act as... <laughs> Take it, take the battery, turn it sideways, and stick it straight up your candy ass. And then go like this. Take it sideways again, put it on your desk, and just push, push really hard, and, and you'll, you'll taper the edges in. And then look at it like this. Look at it sideways as you're shoving it straight up your candy ass, and make sure that it's not like bowed out like this. You can just push these things. You, you can like really, really, really push these things hard 
to to flatten the uh, the pouches out. I've had five inch batteries that looked like fucking accordions that fell off of a rooftop. That I'll I mean like they're kind of wrecked anyway, so I'll just mash it into the concrete and just like step on it and stomp on it, um, and and the batteries will last for like a while longer. It's wild. All right, let's see what's up with these uh, 802 prototypes so I can get some feedback, hopefully get some feedback back to uh, uh, the folks that sent these to me. These were sent to me a long time ago and, and I tested them and they didn't work um, and I was super disappointed and, and I sent them the feedback. But I forgot to ask them when I sent them the original feedback if uh, if anybody else had run into these issues. See, this is, it's, you hear it? They are out of balance. Same thing happened last time. Let me check the props. Um, let's change the props. That's the... Uh, quickest and easiest way to start to troubleshoot uh, weird shit like this. Oh, wait, I should unplug the battery. That'd be smart. Uh, and I'm going to use the prop puller so that I don't wreck these motors. Get out of there. Oh, all right, good to go. Uh, I And I am actually going to use uh, the props that I'm going to put on are going to be the HQ uh, Tri-Blades, the new magical, they've been prototypes for a long time, but now I think they're actually kind of out, um, propellers, which I've got three sets of them in the mailbag, not to spoil the surprise, but um, yeah. Uh, I was also sent one set uh, for free, because Jesse is awesome, uh, on the order that we did the mailbag for the other day so yeah let's give these a shot Let, let's try <laughs> new propellers that I don't know if they're actually balanced or not on motors that I think that might be <laughs> unbalanced uh, I'm pretty sure that these by blades are balanced though um, but these are 802s at a lower KV 23,500 and so Tri blades are usually the answer when you're dealing with that. When you're dealing with a, a lower KV and you're trying to get power out of it, so let's give these a shot. Uh, I'm going to guess that in Kebab's video, uh, he says that uh, sometimes HQ props are better balanced. I'm, I'm going to guess, l looking at the thumbnail and the title. Uh, that's that's gonna be my hunch is that he says that uh, he, he's got some HQ props there that are better, better balanced than their gem fan counterparts um, with micro propellers for the longest time I found the the opposite of that to be true um, but every propeller is different like every mold that gets made has a chance of being imperfect and any little imperfection is going to F up the balance of uh, a propeller. So yeah, with, with each propeller that's made, that can potentially be the case. Um, it's, it's tough, man. Propeller manufacturers have a really tough job. And yeah. All right, let's go. Let's see. That's zero throttle. When it's like coming down like this, that's zero throttle. Um, the These props right now are hitting on the frame, though. Maybe they're not. I think they might have self-clearanced, like, right away. Let me try again. What the fuck is that noise? What, what is that? There it goes. And they're all over the place. Uh, they're doing the exact same thing they were last time. And I, and I can't... 
I can't pull this PID tune down anymore. Like, it, it's going to start flying like complete asshole. Uh, uh, actually, I can. I, you know, I, I don't do this much. I, I don't show you guys how bad a PID tune that's backed off from stock flies. Um, uh, so let's do that real quick. profile and do this as quick as I can and we're gonna pull the D gains all the way down to 0.8 and then the P and I gains will match it up 0.8 save and exit come on come on come on come on come on oh god why well this got it flying uh, I've tested these propellers before when they were actual prototypes, so um, they're really good, but they're very fragile. They're super light. They're really good because they're super light, um, and then that makes them very fragile. But apparently, the prototypes were a more fragile plastic. So, see that judder? Ready? Every time I change directions, like now, and now, look for the judder. The judder is the, the shit pid tune, not being able to control the dirty air. See it? See it? Every time I stab the throttle, see that big judder? That's the, that is the backed off pid tune. Um, and then we might even be able to get some bounce back to show up. Let's see. Nope. Oh god! That was fucking soda, wasn't it? Fuck! No, 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 no! Got away with it. Wow, that was creepy. Unbelievable. I center punched that fucking soda. Jesus, are you kidding me? An entire big ass room, and I managed to absolutely hammer that soda perfectly centered. All right, well, now at least I can give some feedback on these motors. Um, I, I, I don't think that these motors are very well balanced, though. God damn it. Um, because, yeah, I've run tons of motors, and I've never had to do this with the, uh, uh, with the tune to get them to run. These pair really well with these tri-blades, though. I'll tell you what. The lower, um... Fuck you. The lower KV... Is definitely helped by the, um... Jesus. For the record, right there was crash prevention screwing me. Uh... It, it hit... Uh, it hit on the ground, crash prevention triggered, and it... And it, like, for some reason... Crash prevention didn't level it. It put it at a weird angle, and then I had to pull it back off that weird angle. Uh, all right, let's do another one now that it's actually flying. Uh, yeah, the bulk of my feedback is going to be that they're out of balance. i got to flatten this, another one of these batteries out. Uh, these HQ super, super, super lightweight tri-blades are really good. They're really, really, really good. Um, just don't expect them to be as durable as um, the Gemfan bi-blades. It's, that's asking too much. Uh, a, a super lightweight tri-blade that's like as light, I think, as a, as a bi-blade, it just has no chance at, at being as durable. Um, I don't like the way tri-blades fly they're like too grippy um so they're not for me but if you're a racer you probably like tri-blades so whoa what the hell was that that was very weird that was like a desync but it was a desync when i wasn't even on the throttle I'm, oh, fuck. I'm actually surprised how much power these have for being such a low KV. But, I, I mean, I can totally feel that they're 
down on power from what I'm used to. Hey! Oh boy! Yeah, okay. I'm used to so much more throw. But you can still do stuff with these. Look at that, man. Look at the, the prop wash at the end of that. Whoa, what was that? It's doing it again. What are you doing? Um, that shouldn't have anything to do with the motors. That's more of like a ESC desync thing. Weird, man. Very weird. Oh, God. I, tr I was trying to, like, like, oh, these are racing motors. I should shoot gates with them. Hey. Interesting. I don't hate them. Uh, I think they have just enough KV. I think... Um, if they were 23,000 even instead of 23,500, um, I would be much less happy with them, but I'm actually really surprised at how decent these are. Uh, you know, not uh, like having a tune that's back down from stock kind of sucks, but it just makes a little bit more prop wash. Like it doesn't really, um, it doesn't really make it harder to like fly or anything like that. It just makes the footage look like ass when you when you put it into dirty air. Interesting. Uh, they have, uh, you know, with, with lower, uh, with lower KV, you're gonna get a little bit more um, throttle resolution, which is kind of cool. Let's do one more, let's do one more. And that's kind of interesting. Let me, let me do one where uh, I fly it like, race race style I've never made like I've never made like a racetrack in here what, what could I do for like an upstairs downstairs racetrack let's let's see real quick see if I can do a little upstairs downstairs loop so when I come down through here I guess I should go now I'll keep it up high. I'll go through here, and we'll go through there. We'll go. Oh, fuck you. This is gonna be frustrating. We'll go through there, and then we'll go through here, and then we'll turn. And we'll ram into the wall, and then we'll go back upstairs. Oh god. We'll go back upstairs, and then. Oh god. Why me? Uh, we'll go down under here, and then we'll go in through here. Oh. Uh, we'll go up here. And then I guess I'll just turn around down the stairs and then down, down the stairs again. All right, let's try. Fuck you. This is not going to go well. Okay. Oh no, why me? Oh no, why me? Yeah, I guess I'll just stall it up there like that and come down the stairwell. Another stairwell. Oh, I just nipped the door. Oh, you sons of bitches! I gotta really concentrate. I'm, I'm really not good at racing. Oh god down the throttle up here oh god get it down there uh, it makes it so much easier not to worry about the horizon and just use tons of roll makes it way easier not worrying about what it looks like and just oh fuck okay this is a worthless test Oh my god, you son of a bitch, you. Where is it? Oh god, I got it behind this thing. Hey, we're good. Oh, fart. Oh, wait, no, I forgot about this, this thing. Oh god, why? This is a worthless test. I've never done this racetrack before, so I can't say, like, oh, they're better than anything else. 
Oh, fuck you. Oh, no. Don't you do this to me. Please. Please be cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Ah, so close. All right, well, I <laughs> Jesus. I did some sort of a race test with them, I guess. <laughs> with nothing to compare them to, so. They're great. Yeah, I don't know. They, they, they seem fine. Uh, I guess the rig maybe feels a little heavy with them. Um, you know, 802 life. 802 is a heavier battery than, than I'm used to. Um, but, yeah, there you go. Cool. I'm, I'm glad that I got them to work. And, I mean, I didn't have to pull the PID tune down that bad. Uh, I'm also really glad I paired them with, with tri-blades. I think that was, uh, maybe their saving grace, so to speak. Uh, so cool. I'm going to pull these tri-blades off cause I want to use them on something else. And, uh, yeah, sweet. Uh, what's going on, Chad? Mac FPV says... <clears throat> I'm hoping for more 803 and 603 motors uh, now that we have HD micros. Like you say, uh, that height helps a lot more. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, 603 is a, is a really interesting motor size. Uh, and uh, 803 is as well. The problem with 803s is we just have to have them with a one and a half millimeter motor shaft. Making an 803 with a one mil motor shaft is completely worthless. Um, between the battery, the, the weight of the battery required for an 803 and the weight of the 803 motor, no matter what, that a build with that setup is gonna be way too heavy um, for a one mil motor shaft and you're gonna end up with a rig that you just can't crash and that's just stupid. Um, so yeah, these props held up. We crashed the shit out of these just now and they held up. I'm taking a look at, yeah, no, those first two that I pulled off were completely fine. Um, so yeah, maybe the, the material change in these props was a big fat win. Uh, last I checked, uh, tinywoop.com still had these, uh, uh, in stock, so you should just get some. If 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 you have to do an order, if you are thinking about doing an order with Tiny Whoop for anything, do it now and snag some of these props before they inevitably go out of stock. Um, these are really good. These are really really lightweight. Uh, let's take a look at how lightweight. Let's compare them to the Gem Fan by Blades. I think they're about the same weight. Um, and then we're also we, we can also compare them to the uh, twelve oh eight. Gem fan tri blades. Let's take a look. Okay. Get off of there. Jeez. Uh, what I can say that I don't love about these props is they are really tight on these motors. Like, they are really fighting me to come off. So. Uh, but they're not as tight as some other propellers. I'm looking at you, newbie drone. Your Azzy props are bananas tight. Somebody just dropped something heavy in the kitchen. And it sounded like it was going to smash through the floor and kill me. <laughs> kitchen is right above my head. Who remembers the, uh, the flood of 2023? <laughs> There was a point that in the middle, middle of a live stream, I just hear water pouring above my head and I look over and there's just a stream of water pouring down the wall. I jumped up, I'm like, flood! Water from the kitchen! It was the, uh, uh, it was the drain valve of the, um, of the dishwasher had, uh, had popped out and somebody turned the dishwasher on and it, so it was just dumping all the, the dishwasher drain water into the ceiling tiles. It ruined like six or seven ceiling tiles and left a big ass stain on the wall. I gotta paint this wall though. So that'll go away once I finally do that. And our, I, I painted the whole room down here, uh, but I didn't paint this back wall over here because this desk is in the way. 
Um, so in order to paint this wall, I've got to take this whole fucking desk and all my shit and, and slide it over. Um, I might be able to just slide it over and get away with it, but I doubt it, man. I probably have 500 pounds worth of shit on this desk. Um, and I wouldn't really trust this IKEA, Ikea desk with all that shit on it for me to then try to pick it up and move it. I, I would obviously not do it alone, but yeah. Uh, all right, cool. So this frame and these motors are free to go. Here's what I mean about the uh, the BT 2.0 180 degree lead being difficult to get out of these frames when you run the frame with the arrow in the front. It's just it's just a big chunk of wire and shrink wrap that is really hard to get out of here, right? So I'm gonna, you just have to like bend the 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 battery tray here down and out of, and you kind of bend this up and then you can kind of force it out. It's, it's just, it's really hard to get out of there, right? So that's super difficult to get out of there, right? You see me struggling, you see me struggling, you see me struggling, watch this. Now that I know that the battery doesn't sit any different, if I build this frame with the arrow in the back, watch this. Hold on. You saw what a struggle that was, right? This is the, the other part of that frame. Bang. It's already through there. This the, There's just the, this gap on this side with the arrow. This gap here uh, is significantly bigger than this gap here. So now instead of all that struggle, I could just go over there and just pop it right out. So, yeah. Arrow in the back, my friends. Because the battery, as we talked about on the stream, I don't know, Sunday maybe, um... When you put the battery in, it bottoms out on this right here. It doesn't bottom out up here. It bottoms out here. And this part is in the exact same spot on, on either side. So the battery is going to sit, even though this even though this part of the battery frame up here is offset in this direction, it doesn't matter. It won't change the way that the battery sits because the battery bottoms out there. Uh, so, yeah. Might as well put the arrow in the back so that you've got a little bit more room here for your battery lead to go through. Make sense? It better. Did I run this battery down? I think I did. Yeah, there we go. 371. Cool. Uh, I drove all the way out to the uh, uh, to chase the little drift cars last night, and nobody was there. Uh, apparently, Tuesday nights, uh, nobody can make it. So uh, the one guy that could make it showed up for a little while and then split. Uh, so I drove all the way home. But they'll be there tomorrow night, so I, I think I'm going to go back tomorrow night. I was very annoyed. But it's okay. Any, any night that I get to, uh, to drive the Mazda 2 and rip that thing around is, uh, is a pretty good night. So I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Uh, and yeah, so these are the, uh, these are the, the happy model Mobula screws. They are, um, conical. And so they, which, which works perfectly with this part of the Mobula six canopy. They, they drop down and they sit flat in here. Um, so yeah, I need to get slightly longer versions of these. The, this is M 1.2, um, I don't know. That's pretty short, man. That looks like an M. My guess would be that's an M 1.2 by three. So maybe I only need like an M 1.2 by five or six or four. An eight might be too long. Uh, here's what a M 1.2 by 10 looks like. I have a little bag of these. These are going to be too long, though. These I, I got these M 1.2 by 10s for uh for the the double stack canopy thinking that they might be the right length but they were a little too short but we can still use them as a cool little sort of comparison point uh here we go all right so yeah here's what an m1.2 by 12 looks like in comparison so that's like that's more than twice as long right 
Yeah, let me grab another one. We can figure this out right now. Here's another one. No, I guess that is about twice as long. Maybe I was right. Maybe M1 2 by 8 is the right number. See what I mean? So, yeah, these guys are a little too short. Well, are these guys the same length? The one looks slightly longer. Could just be a optical illusion. Yeah, yeah, they're the same length. Now that I got them lined up, they're the same length. You gotta, if you guys, you gotta look at them like that. Oh, it might be a little bit longer. Um, so yeah. There's that, which is interesting. Is it? Uh, wait, why do these look a little bit longer? They're not, no, they're not longer. How do I not have any more I do have slightly longer M1.2 M1 screws, but they don't have a conical head, so they're not going to sink down as far into the canopy, um, which is going to cause, which is going to then basically make them shorter, which is not what we're looking for here. So, okay, uh, put this frame aside. Hey, I'm going to change the uh, I'm going to change the receiver, and then we're going to put this exact same camera canopy AIO into a different frame and fly it. And I need you guys to tell me if it's better quality. We'll fly upstairs too. All right, so hold on. Let me swap this out. Oh shit, I'm gonna have to change the channel that this thing is on, I think. Uh, let's see, maybe not, maybe not. No, 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 no. I, I won't, no, I won't, no, I won't. No. All right, there's the, uh, that's great, thanks, phone. There's the other one unplugged. Here it is. Here's the uh, single antenna one plugged in. Uh, I'm going from diversity with a true RC singularity and a shut up uh, and a TBS Unify to um, just a TBS Unify. The uh, is this a Unify? I forget what this antenna is called, but this is the old school TBS antenna. Um, it's really well tuned for lower frequencies up on race eight. It's not super well tuned, uh, which is why I had this singularity on there, a little singularity stubby. Um, what I don't like about the singularity stubby is it's um, it's got a uh, an adapter on it to go from RP SMA to regular SMA. Uh, so yeah, should be fine. Yeah, that's still working. Okay, uh, let's put this into, uh, because at this, like right now, we're kind of testing the, uh, we're kind of testing the VRX. So let's put this into a frame with, so we just flew low KV 802s, 23,500. Let's next... Let's go all the way up to, let's do 802, more 802s, 802, 33,000 KV motors, but with bi-blades. Oh, wait, hold on. I wanted to get some weights. I wanted to get some prop weights. Here we go. So the new HQ propellers, I'm going to weigh four of them, are 0.65 grams for all four. Gem fan by blades, 1210 by blades are 0.69. Good lord. But very strong. Very, very strong props. And they fly great for freestyle. Uh, the gem fan 1208 tri blades are 0.81. Still very light. So there you go. There are a bunch of weights. 0.81, tri-blade versus tri-blade. 0.81 versus 0.67. That's significant. That, that's really significant. Um, so yeah, I am very curious to see how these HQs are going to be from a durability standpoint. Because, I, I mean, 
not really, because I, I just don't like the way that Triblades fly, but um, yeah, it is kind of interesting. Nonetheless. Okay, so... 802, 33,000 KV, and these are slightly lighter weight. Well, let's see. Hold on. Let me do a little more weight measurement. Apparently, these prototype 802s are very lightweight. Let's see how lightweight they are. Uh, they are. These are two identical frames. Uh, there could be a, a difference in... There is a difference in motor wire length. These uh, Tiny Whoop Happy Model EX 802s have longer battery leads on them. 11.61 versus, whoa, 10.77. That is a big difference. These are very lightweight 802s. Good God. 11.63, 10.78. I'll be damned. Well, shit, if we get these 802s in mega KVs, that would be awesome. And properly balanced. Uh, that would be great. Yeah, these... Uh, these motor wires, oh yeah, they are way, way, way shorter. The The motor wires on these uh, Tiny Whoop EX802 33,000s are extra long in case you want to use these with a 75mm uh, build. So the weight difference would not be that drastic if the, the motor... You know, we're talking 12 30-gauge wires that are... Let's see. Looks like they're about, I'm going to say, at least 10, maybe 15 millimeters longer. Um, that's a lot. That's a lot of extra cable length, uh, especially when there's, when there's 3333, right? Brandon's Bake Bean says, is the thrust higher? Maybe just lower the PIDs if it's making more thrust. Um, uh, it needs less tune in general. Uh, no, the thrust is way lower, Brandon. That, that's why I was so shocked um, that I was having to, to bring the PIDs down because they're significantly lower KV uh, with significantly lower thrust than what I'm used to. Hey, I can build this with the arrow in the back now and not struggle with the battery lead. Ready? Here we go. Oh, that's so nice. Just being able to like easily pop that battery lead in there is... Uh, is pretty great. Although now all of my motors are mounted incorrectly with the little dots on them, clockwise versus counterclockwise. Um, so that's kind of annoying. Uh, but whatever. I feel like I feel like even though I've it, even since I've learned that trick, um, I feel like I've still had to put every single one of these into uh, beta flight to get the motors spinning the right direction, even though I'm I'm putting the clockwise and counterclockwise motors in the right places, um, it's still not right somehow. All right. What's, hold on, something's kind of binding up here. What's happening? Is it the antenna? Sure enough. All right. Um, that's my Discord going off, by the way, friends. I turned off uh, streamer mode. Because I wanted to see people's full names, and now it's playing the sounds like a donkey. Uh, Keith Vaca says, "I just got some newbie drone Venom V2 by blades. Thought I would try them out. Uh, haven't yet though. Have you tried them? Any thoughts?" Uh, yeah, I got I got on those Venoms like when they first came out. I didn't even know there was like a V2. That's pretty interesting. Uh, the Venoms are good. They're they're they fly and make power just like the gem fan by blades. The problem with them and the reason that I don't use them is that the um, they fit way too tightly on the on most motors and they are really, really difficult to get off. Uh, that's what she said. And I've actually uh, bent motor shafts trying to get the damn things off, which is just infuriating. Uh, I've had that same problem with pretty much all of Newbie Drone's props, unfortunately. Um, the Azzy props fly fantastic because they're very lightweight. Um, they're, they're a little fragile, but boy, do they fly good. Uh, but getting them on and off of your motors is just a complete nightmare. So if you're going to go down the, the Newbie Drone prop 
route, what I recommend is that you buy a 0.98 millimeter drill bit. Uh, you can get those off of Amazon, I believe. If not Amazon, then it's eBay. It's one of the two. Uh, and just drill them out a little bit and then they fit fine. Uh, it's kind of annoying to have to drill props out, but they're tiny whoop props. Like you're not going to be going through lots of them. Uh, so it's not that big of a deal. All right, there we go. 0802 EXs. Uh, and we're going to try that new, not new. We're going to try the single antenna. Uh, words eluded him. VRX. Right, here we go. <sighs> Fucking propellers are on wrong. I'm just gonna. No, they're not. Oh yeah, right. Cause I'm just rotating it front to back. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Uh, I believe the motors are gonna be spinning the wrong direction though. Let's just let's try it though. Hold on. Motor one is right. Motor two is right. Motor four is wrong. Oh, no, no, motor one is wrong. Motor direction, I understand the risks. Please don't go full throttle. It's, it's got big motors on it. Okay, good. Motor one is right now. Motor two is right now. The motors are all correct. Uh, so, oddly enough, <laughs> so I guess what's happened here is I got... I got the whole dot versus no dot thing backwards, <laughs> which is why I was confused. Okay. So the, the plug with the dot on it, let me put the right information out into the world for a change. I'm going to pull off motor one. Motor one is back on this corner. Motor one and motor four should not have a red dot on the little connector. Okay, I thought they should have a dot on the connector. So if, it really doesn't matter, but best practice is when you're mounting up Happy Model motors, um, cause I think the Happy Model motors are the only ones that have the little dot. There's a little red dot on the plastic connector. That red dot is where motor two and motor three go. And then no red dot is motor one and four. Uh, on this quad, might be different on. Yeah, I don't know. I've 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 been doing that for a couple of weeks now, and like, I feel like one time it was right, uh, but the rest it was just weirdly not right. I don't know. It's it's strange. Let's see if this is on the right channel. It is on the right channel. Look at that. All right, so pay attention if this uh, VRX is any better than what you've been seeing for the last six months to a year. Uh, H. Rich says, just changed my rates. That roll viewer seems slow. What rates are you running? 4,770 are my rates. Uh, and your rates should be the same on everything. You should not have specific rates for anything. Um, it's just going to make your life harder. All right, let's go. 0802 EX, 33,000 KV on Gemfan buys. Oh, this is the stuff. Hello, Byblades. Good to have you back. You slidey bastards, you. All right, so you see the, um, so let's talk about the tune. See the judder? These motors have a sh shitload of power. But we've we've just pulled the tune down so far that they can't handle it. They, they just can't get all the prop wash out. So we're going to boost the pids up a little bit. And now that's almost... Whoa, yeah, this... I think this AIO might be having a hard time. Hey, we are getting some d stinks. Oh, boy, yeah. No real fix for that. Uh, replacing the AIO is the only option. So we still have a tiny little judder there. Let's see if we can get that out. This battery's almost dead, though. That's not helping, but 
Let's just real quick come in here, come in here and we'll push this to 1.4. Look how much harder I can push this with these motors, right? And like these motors have been abused way more than those uh, than those prototypes. Ah shit! Ah balls! No, let me alone. Good lord! Oh balls! Wow, it bounced all the way over there. That's crazy. Uh, these 802 EX 33,000s are incredible. They are noticeably heavier than the, um, than the 702s. And they're definitely more hungry. That was a minute and 19. Um, but we did have this battery plugged in when we were in beta flight and motor testing and all that shit. So, um, don't totally judge it off just this one battery. We're going to fly another more fresh battery here in a second. Uh, I'm having a hard time getting this fucking battery unplugged. Oh my god damn it. There it is. Whew, Jesus. Uh, how was the, uh, the quality? Any different? Uh, Kevin the Alien says, one good lap is about all I normally get to, for what it's worth. Uh, H. Rich says, have found launch control to be useful, uh, really useful sometimes when escaping those kind of shoe trap crashes. Great for uh, scooting a little out, trapping the ducks under something. That's interesting. I've never actually tried it for that. Uh, Itchy Sack FPV says, what's up, brother? Looking good. Thanks, dude. Freelojo says, regular old Mobula 6, uh, Rui Loba, then upgrades as needed. Am I correct, CID FPV? You got it. Uh... Mobula 6, the, the best freestyle tiny whoop that you can buy with like off the shelf stuff uh, is Mobula 6 ELRS. Get it now before the new one comes out. I think the new one's going to be worse. Um, Mobula 6 ELRS, switch it over to BT 2.0, switch the motors out for 702 30,000s or 32,000s, and that's pretty much it. You can do a True RC ultra short singularity antenna if you want, it'll fit under the canopy. Uh, but you don't have to. The the stock whip antenna is totally fine. Uh, all right. Let's do some more bashing with these uh, insane EX802 33,000 kV motors. Um, these motors being 802s can probably turn a tri-blade. Uh, 33,000 kV on a tri-blade, though, is kind of absurd. Uh, but maybe we'll try it. I wanted this to be more about motor testing than propeller testing. So maybe we'll do that another night. Watch this. Ready? That is what these 802 33,000s do. They just make all the power in the whole wide world. It's like, it's just outrageous. A person down there that I almost said a person? I don't think so. Ooh. Oh no! Felt it coming. Oh no! No, 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 no. It like oh my god. Oh no! That's gonna be a hard hit. Oh boy. That was a big one. Chomp, 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 chomp. Oh no! Oh, crash prevention, thank you. That right there would have been a big slam if it weren't for crash prevention. You, like, that correction was not me at all. Even a little bit. Ooh. These motors are awesome. Um, they're a bit much, they're, they're, they're a bit heavy, uh, but man, are they fun. Not my motor of choice. Uh, Maybe the, these motors are maybe like uh, third favorite might be stretching it, but maybe like fourth favorite. Uh, first favorite would be 0702 32,000. Second favorite would be maybe like 702 36,000s. Um, third favorite would be like 702 30,000s, or maybe even the 603 30,000s. Ah. Uh, these motors are also going to never have the runtime of a 702. 
just because it's a bigger, heavier bell. Yeah, I mean, like, look, look at the runtime. We're at 3.5, 3.48, and we're only at, like, 2 minutes and 7 seconds. With the 702s, you're going to see me get, like, 3 minutes, even hammering it. I mean, we were, we were upstairs in that big-ass space, hammering it pretty good, though. Um, so that didn't help things any, but still, the, the 702s are so lightweight, they get amazing runtime. Oh, this... Uh, Scum! You absolute scum. Where is it? Yeah, man, you want a uh, you want a fun fucking motor? These eight hundred two thirty three thousands are it, and you can uh, you can uh, you can motor limit these down a little bit. You know, like if you want to check out eight hundred two ex motors, the lightest weight eight hundred two motors. Uh, AJ Ferris says, "Do you have a pyro affiliate link?" No one has a pyro affiliate link. Uh, they uh, had an affiliate program for like a week or two, and then. I guess they were unhappy with, whoa, how much money they were losing. I ran that battery down way too low. So two minutes and 36 seconds, and I over-discharged the battery to probably death. Uh, let me get it onto the charger right now. But typically when I do that, the battery is done So That's a green marker battery, too. That's one of the newer ones. 3.3. Ugh, yeah. I probably hurt that one. Uh, I'm going to put a red X on that battery, and that is how I signify a battery that I have over-discharged. Shut up, phone! God damn! Azalea, go to bed! That's my Azalea go to bed alarm. Uh, okay. Bring that motor back up, or battery back up, rather. I'm going to bring it back up to storage, though. Okay. EX802-33000. Very, very fun motor. Uh, screw it. Let's put them on tri-blades real quick. It's a pink frame. I have a set of the pink HQ tries. It's, it's kismet. It's meant to be. Uh... But Bruce says the motors with the dots will still be in the same plugs even with the AIO swapped. Oh, you're right. You're right. <laughs> yeah, you're absolutely right. Because <laughs> they're diagonal. Um, interesting. So, yeah, I guess on this frame, I just happened to put the uh, dot versus no dot in the opposite position that I'd previously thought, and that was correct. Um. And then Denzel the Turbo says the dots will only be accurate if you haven't changed any directions in Betaflight or ESC config on the flight controller before. Um, when you go into the motor uh, direction wizard, it always, as soon as you open up that wizard, it wipes out any direction changes that you have uh, made to the motors. So, yeah, the, in 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 this case, the the no dot. Uh, the no dots being on motors one and four when I went in there. Th that's how I know it was correct, because when I went in there, I didn't have to change any of the motors. Um, when I went into the wizard, when I when I just turned the... Uh, when I just turned the... Um, the bing bong on, when I, when I just turned the motor thing on and just spun all four motors up manually real quick... Uh, they were not spinning the right direction because I had previously um, changed the motor. Well, yeah, I'd, on this stream, I changed the motor directions uh, on the other set of uh, motors that I put on there. Look at this, man. No contrast whatsoever between the motors and the ducts. Oh, wow. One of these propellers is starting to fold already. The, the, ooh, look at that. Yeah. The, the tip of the propeller has developed a crease. I would say like five millimeters down from the tip and it's starting to bend up already. And that was after what, three batteries? 
Yeah, I mean, any tri-blade that's this light, it's just not going to be durable. Like, asking a tri-blade that's this light to be durable is like asking Michael Phelps to be an, an Olympic horseback rider. Your guess is as good as mine. Look how dumb it looks with the same color propellers as the frame. You got to have contrast, friends. Got to have contrast. When things are next to each other, you want to mix the colors up. Uh, see well with an interesting comment um, that I want to read through. But let's burn this battery real quick because it's plugged in. Triblades. They are hitting on the ducts. Uh, it sounds like it might have self-clearance. I just want to get it full throttle as early as possible in this battery. Okay. That's a lot. Um, oh, yeah, that's more. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's more power for sure. Flies really good. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh! Oh, no! I thought it was going to get stuck on the top of the, um, the curtain there. Woo! Shit. A uh, lot of power. Runtime is going to be a fucking disaster, I'll bet. Oh, oh yeah. Grunt. Grunt uh, at low throttle is, I think, what I was just feeling there. Ooh, Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Oh, no. Oh, God. Wow. We fell down the stairs. We fell down the stairs together, friends. Get out of there. Get. Go, no. Oh, that's going to be a hairy corner, isn't it? All right, hold on. Let me see it down here. The battery's almost dead already, though. Oh, it doesn't... F okay, so... This is super interesting, right? Um, down here, it's less about raw throttle and more about acceleration. Ah! And um, I don't, these don't feel as good. Oh, see, I missed that. I mean, the battery is pretty low. Um, yeah, it's kind of interesting. In, in this smaller space, down here in the basement. It's less about raw power once the propellers wind up and more about how quickly um, the motors can change the speed of the propeller from zero to full to give me the, the instant acceleration to pop up from the floor up to the ceiling. And a couple of those moves there, I completely missed the Ciotti loop, which means that we're not getting the acceleration that I'm used to with the, the by blades. Um, it's not a weight thing because these weigh less. It's a drag thing. The, this is a tri blade. Um, so it's a more draggy propeller. I can't get this fucking battery unplugged. God damn it. BT 2.0. You fucking bastards. Mm, come on. You fuck. Mm. Oh, God damn it. The fucking shrink wrap came off. I gotta use a screwdriver or something. Shit, this is gonna fucking ruin another goddamn battery. Fuck you. Fucking assholes. Mm. Mm. Jesus Christ on a crutch. Um, I must have slammed it, uh... In, in it must have slammed from behind and it just hammered the plug in there. What is happening, man? Everything is fighting me all of a sudden. Jesus, hell. I'm going to put this battery on the charger as well because I'm pretty sure it is... Oh, no, it's fine. 3.7. I brought it home early enough. Uh, and this other battery is at 3.8, so we're good. Uh, and now I'm going to switch this back to full charge for the first time ever before... I put a whole stack of batteries on there right before I go somewhere to fly and 
storage charge all of my batteries. Uh, C. Will says, swap my 75 millimeter rig to 802 33,000s. That's a bit much. Uh, and I've been flying them a bit. Honestly, prefer the 1002 23,500s. Uh, I think I heard you starting to prefer 802 for 75 millimeter. Uh, true or did I misunderstand? LOL. Um, C. Will, what I think you've got going on there is that 33,000 kV is too much for a 75 millimeter rig. Uh, so what I believe is going on is when you go full throttle, uh, the the motors are asking for more than than the battery can really uh, give, and that does not that is not a good uh, situation to be in. If a when when you ask a motor to spin a propeller up uh, to an RPM that it's just not going to do like the motor. If a motor doesn't have enough stator volume and you're not giving it enough voltage, uh, it will spin the prop up and, and you've got a propeller on it. That's too draggy, right? 1.6 inch versus these little 1.2 inches. Um, you will increase the throttle. Like you'll get to like 75% or 80 or 85% throttle the motor and will no longer have the uh the torque and it won't spin the prop any farther but as you continue to raise the throttle you'll continue to dump more amperage into the motor and it just turns into heat so what you want to do is mo fly those motors go full throttle a bunch of times and then uh land them motor limit them down to like Motor limit them to like 85% and then fly it again. I'll bet you you'll get a longer runtime and the same amount of power. Um, I have uh, the iGAO 802 27,000s and Jesus, they, like on a 1.6 inch bi-blade, they give me all the power and they feel great. Um, yeah, 30, like 30,000 plus KV is for the little propellers. Uh, those big props, if, if you can find a motor to crank those big 1.6 inch props all the way up to 30 plus thousand KV, that rig is going to go to the fucking moon. Like that, that's going to have so much power at that high of an RPM. Um, so yeah, that, that's what I think is going on. I've tested 802s versus 1002s, um, quite a bit and the 27,000 802s shit stomp the 23,500 kV 1002s, which are the highest kV 1002s we had uh, have. I would love it if someone would make like a 27 or a 28,000 1002, um, but they don't. So yeah, the 1002s are, are more of a 2S motor in my opinion. Uh, they're not bad. It's just not, it's, it's just not quite enough RPM. Um, so what I end up doing with the 1002s is put tri-blades on them, which is fine. I just, I don't like the way that the tri-blades really fly. The the bi-blades are a little bit looser. Um, they're a little bit more of a, uh, of a, they're a little bit more similar of a flight experience to like a heavier three inch or five inch rig. Uh, I lost a gem fan bi-blade. It probably happened when I came in for a landing, which would mean that it's on the floor somewhere, but I don't see it. And I should be able to see it. They're pretty fucking obvious. Uh, oh, there it is. Got it. Okay, so I'm not super impressed with this. I think maybe I would want to motor limit these down a little bit. I think maybe the same thing is happening here uh, where the uh, 33,000 kV is, is just a bit much for any tri-blade, even though it's a lightweight tri-blade. Oh, yeah. The tips of these props are starting to fold over. I mean, those were some big crashes, in fairness. Like, um, but those are the same crashes that I put through the Gemfan Byblades, and they certainly don't do this after four batteries, right? So that's going to keep getting worse. What, what I don't like about this is that it's picking a spot and creasing. So I'm now going to straighten this back out, and that's going to make that crease even worse. Um, and yeah, 
So that's that's rough. But again, uh, those are some pretty big crashes. Um, these rigs aren't all that heavy, though. These are fairly lightweight rigs, so it's not like I'm putting these onto a walk snail rig, right? Um, but again, man, these are tri blades that are lighter than the gem fan by blades. So this is just sort of um, what's going to happen. Uh, the proto, I, I think I described the the prototypes of these propellers as like YOLO props. Um, it's looking like these production versions are maybe the same kind of deal. Uh, you know, racers that want the absolute we're starting to see this all over the place, right? Like this new crop of lightweight frames, um, the Meteor 65 airframe in specific, like, yeah, it's super lightweight, but it's also super fragile. Um, we've got a bunch of components now that are like YOLO components that are only going to last for 20, 30 crashes. If you're a super top tier racer, guess what? You got to work a little bit harder and, and swap shit out a little bit more often uh, the the top all right so that's only happening to one of these repeller the the other three are um look to be fine so that's really good news um but yeah we're we're lucky to have these components hey if if you don't crash a lot these extra lightweight components are going to be amazing you're going to absolutely love them so that's great uh newt mcfly says what's the most durable 75 millimeter frame mobula 7 v4 uh is the most durable that i've found uh, Blizzard FPV says Discord picture I sent of DIY BT 2.0 U. Um, where on Discord? There's like a million. I have like a million different text channels on there. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh wow, I am way. I thought I was caught up on chat. I am not even close to being caught up on chat. Oh wait, no, 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 no! It just scrolled up like crazy. I gotta, I gotta replace this mouse. This the scroll wheel on this mouse is fucking up. This is the second or third Razer mouse, uh, where the scroll wheel is shitting its pants. But I really like the mouse, so I just keep buying them and returning them. Uh, Blizzard FPV says, uh, got the HQ feather props for the whoop race at the Veterans Food Bank. Uh, you're going to dig them, man. I, 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 these, from a performance standpoint, are the best tri-blades. Um, yeah, they're wild. All right, I'm going to leave this rig together. And... Oh, the other build is together, but it's got the... Uh... It's got the McStinky camera on it. Uh, I've got a set of brand new, fresh 603 30,000s here. And I did want to get these up in the air. The question becomes, what do we put them on? Uh... uh... box from tiny whoop with a whole bunch of cool shit in it what do you think of that we've got some haribo gummy bears that's new usually um usually they throw in the the giant sour patch kids which is awesome uh another set of the pink what are they calling these 31 millimeter by three HQ ultralight whoop props. Uh, I got a set of the pink, I got a set of the teal, and I got a set of the spoke crotch gray. So on another live stream, maybe Friday, we'll we'll test those a little bit more in depth. Um, the one of the big things I got in this order that I'm really happy about is a uh, another beta FPV cross AIO uh, for the last remaining. Um, uh, walk snail build. I'm, I'm gonna use. I actually snagged two of these. One of them is gonna replace the stupid Happy Model Cross AIO that's just shitting its pants on the 
65 millimeter freestyle walk snail build. Uh, the other one is going to be uh, the basis for uh, a second um, cinematic RC drift car chasing uh, rig, but that's that's going to come later. So yeah, these have not been in stock in a bunch of places. So I said to hell with it. Let me just snag a couple um, because they pair really well with those walk snail builds. This is a Meteor 75 airframe. Maybe it won't suck as much as the Meteor 65 airframe. Maybe it will. Uh, they give you little uh, motor spacers to boost the motors up higher so that the propellers ride the inside of the ducts. I would rather them just make the geometry of the frame better because we pretty much all run the same motors. Like the, the motors that we run are only really one millimeter off. So and it was all, it would also make the frame both stronger and lighter. If, if the distance between the duct and the motor base was shorter, everything would be better. It'd be lighter and it's, it would be stronger. Why is like, why, why? This frame is pretty stiff. Um, this is the Mobula 7 V4 frame. Oh, shit. Get off of there. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's it's not nearly as stiff as the Mobula 7 V4. But maybe it's stronger. Stiffness is, is, is not everything. Uh... And, ooh, you know what's interesting is they've got a secondary little brace here. What I was about to say is I wonder if this will fail in the exact same point as the Meteor 65 Air and the regular Meteor 65. But they've actually got a support here uh, that connects right up to that weak point in the, uh, in the Meteor 65 frames. Yeah. Ooh. That could be good, man. That could be really good. Um, I'm assuming since this is a, what are they calling this? Meteor 75? I'm assuming that since this is a, it's not a pro though. I was going to say, I'm assuming that you have to run a cross style AIO, but maybe not. Uh, let's see. Please no. Please don't require a stupid cross style AIO. It does not. Oh, beta FPV. Thank you. Well, that is really cool. Uh, okay. I love that. I really do. This frame could be good. I'm excited. Meteor 75 Air. Uh, we will test this at a later date. Ooh. Yeah. I'm excited for that, actually. Uh, the Mobula 7 V4 is really, really good, admittedly. Um, so that frame has its work kind of cut out for it, but I really like where they put that extra little brace, that extra little piece of plastic. That's, uh, that's kind of exciting. So we'll maybe try that on this build. Maybe we'll just try it on an analog jungle gym bashing build because... This walk snail 75 build is really heavy. You know, the, the, the extra six grams is, is an awful lot. So I would rather run that frame on something that's a little bit lighter. You know, the problem is I can't really blast it outside with it being so cold because um, it's just going to get brittle and crack. So I kind of got to wait for a warmer day to really and, and flying 75 millimeter rigs in here is a complete nightmare. Um, this is the main reason that I did this order though. These are the beta FPV BT 2.0 U cables. And since I'm a goddamn genius, I bought two packs of them because one pack of these is going to get put into the monthly giveaways. So every single month for the next six months, you'll have a chance to win one of these damn things. If you join my Patreon and you go on to the $5 or $30 tier. Actually, no, you, you, I don't know if you guys knew this, but you can choose any tier you want and then choose any, well, you can, so 
if you want your chance to order these, but you would rather support me for 10 bucks a month rather than five bucks a month, the, the tier that these are on is the tiny whoop and toothpick tier, which is $5 a month. If you have a couple extra bucks that you want to send my way, you can just change your dollar amount and you don't have to change your tier. So you can donate 10 bucks a month and stay on the, the tiny whoop and toothpick tier. Um, so yeah, cidfpv.com uh, or the Patreon link that Freelojo just dropped. Um, yeah, join the $5 uh, a month tiny whoop toothpick tier and you can maybe win one of these or just go on tinywhoop.com and buy them that's fine too look at these glorious bastards this will make the fuck i can't get the battery unplugged issue much much better sorry it's not in focus but you don't need it to be in focus like it's just a battery plug that's in the shape of a u uh this is great this is really, really nice. Oh, yeah, dude. You can... T th there is so much of a better grip on this. They, they made the... They made the... Um, see how it's wider there? It's, it's not wider top and bottom, but that left and right extra little bit of width there, I can just feel. Like, I can... My, my finger fat can can kind of grab that angle and, and get some actual uh what's the word that adam savage would use in this case he, he has a word that he says sometimes is it gription i think gription is is the word that he'll sometimes say uh if you don't if you're not subscribed to tested here on youtube boy oh boy are you missing out Adam Savage is the greatest. What's going on? There we go. All right, hold on. Yikes. All right, I got a bunch more batteries in here. Oh, and I have the uh, I have the Tiny Whoop batteries in here that are on their first charge. They sat all night long fully charged. Fail. I'm going to try to fly all these down, and then I'm going to recharge them all tomorrow for the... Drift car shenanigans. Um, why have I not heard from more of you people that you've found a local group of RC drift car donkeys that you've been going and flying with and having more fun than you've ever had in life? Come on. Come on now. Riot 9 unsubbed after his Apple shill. Was that the uh, cable? The... Um where he reviewed the $130 Apple cable. Um, I don't know. I thought he was pretty fair. I mean, he didn't lie in there, did he? Like, yeah, the price is absurd. He called that out. He said that the price is absurd. But, I mean, at least there's something going on to justify the, the cost. Oh, I can't fucking wait to, to solder one of these up. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I want to solder one of these up right now, damn it. Man, I got all this time. I, I spent all this goddamn time making my little custom fucking thing. Look at that. These are going in the giveaways, you little shitbirds. That's why. Uh, hey, as a reminder, I have, uh, courtesy of Frank Nicholas, a whole bunch of PH 2.0 batteries. Um, I'll sell these crazy cheap. Basically, the price of shipping. Uh, let me know if you still have PH 2.0 rigs. I got a bunch of batteries for you. I will hook you up. All right, that's the end of mailbag. Uh, I've now got a big stack of batteries. Let's... Let's... So I've got this one build on the... 802 33,000s. I, I kind of wanted to keep this set up together here with the crazy uh, BI camera. What murders are these? Oh, these are just regular old 702 32,500. So let's pull... I'm going to pull this apart. I, I'm not going to stay with the, 
the newbie drone bi camera like it's interesting but i can't i can't the the run cam nano three with the uh the mobula six canopy is just too good it's 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 just it's just the best so let's pull this apart this is this is the fun little thing that we did here but uh, I'm just too deep. I'm, I'm too many batteries deep in the in the run cam nano 3 and I mean it's great it's it, it's a great camera uh, oh let me weigh it yeah let me weigh the McStinky mount versus the McStinky mount with the bi this is how I'll this is how I'll justify this uh, I'm it, this camera setup is gonna be heavier and then I can go yeah I'm running the lightweight camera setup because weight is everything. The BI camera is really good though. The the and the the extra uh, field of view, once I got used to it, could be really nice, um, especially with all of the weird backwards and sideways and power loopy, matty flippy shit that I'd be doing. But. I would have to like change all the camera plugs on a bunch of them and then I'd have to have McStinky mounts on everything and like the McStinky mounts don't really work totally perfect with the Happy Model board because the UFL plug is there so the camera sits ever so slightly sideways which is not great. Um, so yeah, the 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 Mobula 6 Canopy and Runcam Nano 3 is just so good. All right, here we go. I'm going to fight with this... Uh, the arrow's in the front, so I'm not going to be able to get this plug through here. You know what? Let me... Oh, boy. These these Beta FPV U180 uh, plugs might be way more difficult to get through the frame. Let me take a quick look. Uh, oh, yeah, they are a lot bigger. Oh, no, they're not. No, they're not. They fit right through the uh, the 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 arrow part of the frame. Amazing. And they would fit through the other side. I would just have to mash it in there. Yeah, you can get it through the other side, but uh, they just drop right through. Look, I, I'm, I'm not even going to force it. That's the U part. I'm just using the wires to push it and wiggle it, and it just popped right through there. Yeah, there you go. The arrow goes rearwards, my friends. Make your life easier. Plus, like when you when you're fucking with those plugs, like trying to ram them through there every time you you take the thing in and out of the build, you're putting stress on the wires, and you know, don't do that. Uh, wait time. Let's see here. McStinky with Bi versus Mobula Six. Canopy with Runcam Nano 3. Uh, BI camera with McStinky, two and a half grams. Mobula 6 setup, damn it, 2.4 grams. There is a difference, but it's not a big difference. What's up, Azalea? What are you doing? Well, eat something. Don't die. You gotta be, you could better quietly eat something and then quietly sneak into your bedroom, but your mother will attack you physically. There's, like seven thousand dollars worth of food. What I got to cook it. You don't want to cook it. Welcome to the rest of your life, it my takes friend. Too long. Uh, eat chips and dip. There's chips. I what? I bought you that thing of flame. By the way, I bought you flaming hot uh, chips. Did you see them? No. Yeah, there's flaming hot uh, ruffles. Where? In the cupboard. What? In the middle. Okay. Don't eat those though. It'll give you stomach ache. Uh, Why'd you buy them for me? So that you'd eat them during the day. Why? Um, there are regular potato chips up on the top in the cupboard that you can put with the uh, French onion dip. Just go to bed hungry. We all do it. Wow. You won't die. You'll just die inside a little bit. Um, I got nothing for you, kiddo. I apologize. I don't apologize. I'm not sorry. Uh, yeah, I, I got nothing for you. 
what happened to all the food that we had? Make a little sandwich. There's sandwich supplies. Make a little little ham sandwich, a little turkey sandwich. The response I got was, Ugh. I feel you on that one. Uh, wow, there's all kinds of questions in the chat. I got to get this, uh, I got to get caught up here. Jesus, I'm so far behind on Chad. Shredder0911 says, I can bind Meteor with uh, RX underscore SPI underscore protocol equals V202 underscore 250K, but don't seem to bind to Mobula with blah, blah, blah. Both were supposed to be ELRS bind and fly. Do you know why? Uh, I have no idea. Uh, what are those CLI commands there? I I've never dealt with that. I I've never dealt with the protocols in the CLI. Um, uh, I'm also not a super, super, super technical guy. Um, I focus more on like how to fly really good and, and how to pick the right parts and, and stuff like that. Um, but on some, what I can say is on some versions of Betaflight, for the protocol in the receiver tab, uh, you have to use uh, Crossfire as the protocol. So, so maybe try that. But I mean, it should have, like an ELRS AIO is going to come out of the box set up for ELRS. All you have to do is get the binding situation figured out. Admittedly, ELRS binding is a complete nightmare. Um, there are, there have been times where it's taken me three days to get ELRS to bind. Um, so yeah, that could definitely be the problem. ELRS is just, uh, it can just be really confusing and really difficult, uh, for people that aren't computer science majors, which I am most certainly not. Um, but there are people in the chat that are, and they make sure that I know what a dumbass I am for not being able to get ELRS to bind sometimes. So uh <laughs> yeah uh but yeah sorry i don't have an answer for you brother I, i'm 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 not the guy i'm not the super technical guy um it might seem like it but i'm i'm just not jake fpv says what are those white motors look cool i like them uh these are those are the um tiny whoop uh uh 0802 25000 kv motors uh 25000 is a little bit low i i the um Realistically, you might as well go with the iGAO Special Edition 802 27,000s, and then if that's too much KV for you, just motor limit them down to 90%. Um, there's really no reason to get the 25,000 KV motors um, when the 27,000s exist, and they're a cooler purple color. Um, but, you know, <laughs> don't buy motors based on color. Um, so, yeah, get the iGAOs instead. Last I checked, they were in stock, uh, which is just awesome okay so this frame and motors uh can get put aside here we're gonna do something cool i'm gonna show you guys whooped ass motors versus fresh motors and we'll see if we can tell a difference uh this old school meteor 65 frame has a set of Hmm. Well, this is going to be an unfair comparison, but I'm going to do it anyway. This is an OG Meteor 65 frame that has beat ass 0603 30,000 kV motors. Uh, I'm going to take these tri blades off and replace them with bi blades. Uh, and then I'm going to put the fresh set of 603 30,000s uh, that Jesse just sent me onto a slightly lighter weight frame. I'm gonna put those into a Cockroach 65 V3 frame that I see just hanging out over here. Why is this just, oh, I need to find the shorter screws for this. <gasps> is that them? Nope. 
uh, yeah, it, it's kind of silly to put these 603s into the old school frame. I, I have a bunch of these newer lighter weight frames that I just want to keep testing. I'm hoping that eventually I break some of these new, some of these Weebly Crown frame, Weebly Crown and or um, Newbie Drone Cockroach 65 V3 frames so that I can see where the damn things break. But so far they just absorb the abuse and laugh at me. So I got to get revenge on them. Uh, but if I'm going to use this frame, I need to find the, a set of the really short screws. Where, where would I have put a set of those really, really short newbie drone screws? Um, and why do I have this frame just sitting here without them? How did that happen? I know better than to do that. Uh, where, if, if I were an extra set of those, Ooh! screws where would i be i would be over here in this box that's exactly where i would be i knew i i remembered putting them in a clever place that made sense and uh that would be right here so nope those are the longer screws that go with the uh the brace Yep, okay, so I'm gonna put the other brace in here actually, as well. All right, <laughs> there they are in the bottom. And sometimes, sometimes you can actually hear my genius. That is one of my favorite Jeremy Clarkson quotes of all time. Um, I will never forget when he said that. <laughs> I just like it's one of those moments that like there's all these top gear moments for me where I just scream at the top of my lungs in laughter um and that is certainly one of them um and then I, I was just watching the uh the Rwanda special today shit what was the he had another one of those it was oh what's the line in the Rwanda special um, I think it was something along the lines of sometimes my genius amazes even me or something like that. It was a really good one. Uh, M1.4 by one or two, maybe. But yeah, these are the ones. I don't have enough of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What? Why do I only have seven? What? Where are eight and nine? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Why? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are there so many in here? Hold on. Uh, I have a few of these heavier, uh, newbie drone cockroach sixty-five V three frames. Anybody interested? Uh, newbie drum sent them to me and said, I bet you can't break them. Uh, and I weighed it and I crashed it a bunch and I was like, I bet you're right, but I'm not going to keep running. Like, I'm not going to run it enough to actually find that out because it's, uh, it's too heavy. And as of right now, one of these, so they give you uh, two extra screws. Not anymore. You're gonna get the right number of screws, uh, but you're not gonna get any extras. I'm stealing your extras, <laughs> whoever is interested in these. Uh, I have two in black and one in clear. And unfortunately, I need to rob almost all of the extra screws here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then, all right, so one of these, the clear one, is gonna come with one extra screw. Uh, the black ones are gonna come with no extra screws. 
Sorry, but they're gonna come with the right number of screws, so you'll be fine. Just don't lose them. They're very small and very short. Uh, I'm making absolutely sure that I get the right number put back in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. All right. And then I have to rob one of the screws from the uh, from the clear frame. Uh, yeah, these are the Newbie Drone uh, uh, PC, the polycarbonate ones. They are one gram heavier than the uh, polypropylene ones. I've been beating the hell out of the polypropylene ones and they're not even showing like the beginning of of any fatigue like they're just yeah the the design of the frame is really really good uh, so there it is there's still one extra in here with the nice clearish one gram heavier pp frame no no, no pc these are the pc frames Okay, I've got enough screws now. Uh, okay. All right, so, yeah, 603 30 thousands are, are what we're going to test next, and then we'll, uh, we'll finish up with some 702 loving. So what I'm going to show you here is the magical, magical, magical difference between beat ass motors and freshy fresh motors you'll be able to hear the difference if nothing else here uh and you'll also get to see what 30,000 kv 603s are like uh it's a really cool motor the the bell being uh six millimeters wide rather than seven or eight uh the bell really spins up quick and then the magnets being well the magnets and the stator being three millimeters tall, it makes really good power. Uh, these are fascinating motors. Fascinating, fascinating, fascinating motors. Um, I can't wait to try these out in higher KVs. I think that this, uh, um, judging by the performance of these 30,000 KV motors with tri-blades, the stator has plenty of grunt um, and should respond really well to, uh, more KV, like 30,000 KV, like these EX802s. These EX802s are, are such a good example of what happens with bigger than 702 motors when you actually, um, crank the KV to the moon. Uh, so yeah, this is exciting, exciting stuff. Man, I, I, I cannot find a, um, a a motor name that I like. I, I cannot figure out what a good uh, motor name would be for a super secret project. Like, everybody keeps saying, like, gangly cans, or, and, like, it just doesn't, it doesn't roll off the tongue. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I can't fucking figure it out. Uh, if the, if the we bleed frame wasn't called the crown, it could just be called like the King's crowns or something like that. But, um, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to bite off of we bleed like that. Like that doesn't seem cool. Um, so yeah, I gotta go a different, different direction with them. What about something like, Referencing like the 80s or the 90s. I am an 80s kid, you know? Like something Nintendo related, maybe? Uh, Upside says, would an XT30 be the next step for a high KV uh, 75? Uh, is there some sort of limit on the BT 2.0s? Um, I think it would. I think it would, but it, it would be way overkill. And XT30s are kind of heavy. You would gain a significant amount of weight doing that. Um, 
I've the the way that you can tell if a connector is causing resistance is to see if it gets hot. Run the rig with a tiny whoop. It's easy. You hold the damn tight. Just hold the tiny whoop and then put a finger on the battery lead and go full throttle a couple times. And if you don't feel heat building up in the battery lead, then it's not a problem. Uh, I just slammed this motor on and I happened to, this is a no dot motor and I just happened to put it in the right spot. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, do that test. And I don't think you'll feel any heat in the BT 2.0. They, they um, yeah, I've never gotten the feeling that there are any kind of a limitation. But I could totally be wrong. I've never really thought about that. I, I just kind of assumed. And like, they're so much better than pH 2.0 that it's like, yeah. In theory, they're enough. Hard to tell, though. Let us know. If, if, if you do that test and you do feel some significant heat in that battery plug, for God's sake, let us know. Because um, that's, that's like super important, actually. Uh, C. Will says, thanks for the clarification. I almost just put this in my mouth while I was speaking. Uh, I'll probably swap the 1002s back and put the uh, 802 33,000s on a 65 millimeter rig. Yeah, you'll love those 802 33s. Uh, Blizzard FPV says, when can we expect a gangly whoop motor? I got to pick a name. Uh, Newt McFly says, what's the most durable 75 millimeter frame? Uh, today, I think it's the uh, Mobula 7 V4, but that beta 75 airframe is interesting it feels sturdy but you gotta crash them a thousand times to really figure it out uh jake says blow on the scroll reel super hard and i promise it'll fix it immediately really All right, I blew a bunch of spit in there. Is the spit is it is it like, uh, is it like the uh, the um? Did you guys know that when we used to blow on our uh, Nintendo cartridges, it was not the air that was helping; it was the spit. Um, I found this out like a couple months ago. Uh, and it it was not a great thing. Like the split, the spit uh, caused corrosion on the on the contacts. So if you if you have a stash of old Nintendo games, they're probably ruined from all your spit in them. Uh, I never used to blow in mine. I used to just uh, uh, take it in and out and then bounce it up and down a bunch of times rather than spitting in it. And uh, Mine still don't work. Some of my games still didn't work. Uh, they're just old, man. Like, fucking original Nintendo was, like, what, 25 years ago? Like, that's too long. That's too long to expect anything to survive. The fact that anything survives that amount of time is, is incredible. Did I just put two red dot motors next to each other? I did not. Oh, man, I'm getting hungry. We're going to keep going, though. Uh, thanks for the tip, Titan. Or Jake, rather. Tokyo Dom says, Can you check if the Walksnail VTX will fit in the spot for the flight controller? The Mippy coming out of the side is so annoying. Uh, are you talking about on the Meteor 75 airframe? Tag me and let me know. Uh, do me a favor. Tag me and type the whole thing again, because by the time I read your, I'm, I'm very behind on chat. I'm a half an hour behind on chat. Uh, and I'm about to read a whole bunch more comments. And so, yeah, write that whole thing again, right? Yo, Siati, please check the whatever frame you want me to check uh, with the Walksnail VTX. I have a Walksnail VTX sitting right here. It'll be easy to check it. Um. really concentrate to get these goddamn screws in here sometimes uh, okay there we go almost there all 
I want to. I gotta mount these up because because I want to fly. I want to fly it, and then swap it and fly it right away. I don't want there to be this this big ass gap uh, between flying one and flying the other. Arr! Get on there. There we go. Last one. Uh. Free Lojo dropping the Patreon link. Thank you, dude. Blizzard FPV says uh, DM Discord BT 2.0 DIY U. DM? Oh, you sent me a DM on Discord. I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. And look, there it is. Did you do it like uh, like I did mine? You did this just in time for the beta FPV ones to come out that I gotta be honest are significantly better because of that extra little bit of plastic that you can grab uh, that you can grab onto. Yep, you did it exactly the way I did it. Yeah, that'll totally work, man. I, all my rigs have that. That'll absolutely work, but it's uh, it's uh, it's not as good as the, <laughs> as the beta FPV ones. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. Okay, here we go. We're going to go into the old frame with the whooped ass motors first. And we're going to put the same set of by blades on each so that the uh, so that there's no like, oh, the propellers are more fresh on the one because the because propellers being fresh is just as insane as uh, fresh motors. Fresh propellers are absolute magic. But so are fresh motors. Okay. There we go. And... Oh, wait, no. Shit. I put it into the frame and I forgot to plug the camera in. And then I took it out. And then I almost put it right back in without plugging the camera in. Go and get out of the way. Get, get out of the way. Get over there. Get canopy. Come on. Can't. No matter how many times you try to put an AIO into a tiny whoop frame, grommets always still want to escape. Escape, not escape. Escape is not a word. Don't say it. Someone will hear you say it and they will judge you, I promise. That person is me. Every time. <laughs> there we go. Stop it. Get in there. There we have it. Okay. Uh, so this is going to be a little bit of an unfair comparison because one of these frames is a little bit heavier than the other. I meant to weigh it. I meant to weigh them both, but I forgot. So that sucks. But I think it's like a, I think it's a little bit less than a one gram difference between the Cockroach 65 V3 and the Doobie Drone Cockroach V3. Meteor 65 versus Cockroach V3. I'm just going to start saying Cockroach V3. What? Oh, right. I had to um I had to adjust the way that the VTX or the antenna cable ran. So now I got to adjust it back. There it is. All right. Now that'll fit and then I just need to get this little guy popped up here. I know this is not thrilling, but I promise it'll be thrilling again in a minute. Well, Thrilling's a strong word. Okay. Better. There we go. And I just need to rotate this a little bit more. There it is. Okay. Hold on. Now I have to rotate this a bunch more. The 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 true RC ultra short um I would love it if it was like another two millimeters shorter. The problem is, as it gets shorter and shorter, the uh, the cable becomes harder to bend. Um, so it might actually not be great if it was even shorter. I don't know. 
it's amazing that it exists in the first place and that Hugo cuts him down this short for everyone. So let's not bitch. Hey, there it is. Okay, I need a set of the canopy screws, which I have right here. And where's the fourth one? There it be. All right, good deal. Okay, let's get these picked up here and we'll throw this into beta flight real quick and you'll get to hear how rattly and ratchet these banged up ass 603 30 thousands are. Um, I've had these for a while. I've probably put maybe, I don't know, 200 batteries through these uh, and they've been great, but uh, I've flown these a lot upstairs and the crashes that happen upstairs are just a whole other level of, of violent. <laughs> that hardwood floor is just so unforgiving and like typically I crash from hitting the ceiling up there, which is like 25 feet up. Uh, like we actually have to figure out how the hell to get up there. Like there, we, we want to get up to that ceiling, but like we don't have a ladder long enough. Even if I did have a ladder long enough, like it, it has to be like an a frame ladder, but it's gotta be like 20 feet high. And I don't even know how we would get it into the house. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, like I've, I've never seen like a, you know, one of these style ladders that are, that's that long. I'm sure I'm certain that they exist, but like Home Depot don't sell them. I don't think, which makes me feel that it's going to be like a thousand fucking dollars for one. And I, that's no go to hell Jim. Okay. We're going to use the same set of props and F you. No, not you. Uh, Freeloader says RC Drift is 100 miles north or south of me. <laughs> really? There's not a more local group? Come on. Keep searching. Keep searching. I, there's got to be a, a more local group than 100 miles away. That's, that's crazy. It's worth a drive. I mean, there's got to be like some guys that are that are closer, maybe, uh, and maybe they've got like a little underground spot, you know. Don't need that much room. You could set up one of these RC drift car tracks in somebody's garage. Somebody has to have a garage that they can uh, set this shit up in. I would think, maybe, probably not. You never know. Try harder. Uh. Bob Bruce says the drift course just opened up a town over from me. So I'm going to go check it out. Hopefully don't leave uh, with more RCs. Yeah, definitely don't. <laughs> don't let it be an excuse to buy an RC drift car. You're going to get tired of it just like every other ground based RC thing. Um, that's for sure. FPV is very unique in that like. The uh, although the the ground based RC drift cars I can tell that they are hard as hell. So maybe it is, it is probably much closer to um, what we do than like any other RC thing. Um, you know, FPV is so, it, like, it holds our interest for so long because it's so difficult. Um, which, like, you kind of sounds like a bad thing, but. Obviously, it's not because we love it so hard. And it's also because we're fucking flying. And, like, who doesn't want to fly? You know? Everybody that says they don't have any interest in flying hasn't done it safely yet. Uh, here we go. Let's get into beta flight, get these motors spinning in the right direction, and we'll take a look at some 603 30,000s with gem fan buys. And that are whooped. And then we'll move this over and check them out. Freshy, fresh, 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 fresh. Motor one is correct. Motor two is correct. Motor three is correct. Motor four is correct. God, is that nice, yo. Boy, oh boy, is it nice to put the non-dot on connector motors in locations one and four 
and then the dot motors on two and three, and then not to have to reverse your motors. Although every single one of your AIOs is gonna have the motors reversed from the wizard, so you're gonna have to go into the wizard and hit the button to get it to clear out whatever adjustments you've already made. Here we go, my friends. Uh, this is a blue marker battery. Let me make sure I have another blue marker battery. I do, I have two. I'm actually gonna run these two because I didn't have them plugged in for even a second. Uh, this will be the fairest test. Uh, okay. All right, let me make sure everything else is good to go. This frame is ready, so I'm gonna pull from this, drop it into that. Uh, screws, plug. All right, I just wanna be able to do this as quick as possible. This is the battery that we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna run in the other frame. All right, I'm ready. Welcome to Frank Nicholas says, no RC drift scar chasing for me because it's cold out and I don't leave the home more than once or twice a week, work from home. Uh, before this week, wind chill Indiana was negative 15. Get the fuck out of here. Jesus Christ. Negative 15. Fuck that, yo. That should be illegal. Angel Cruz says, is the weight savings worth the hassle of removing motor plugs? Absolutely not. Uh, I did it on my first flight controller, but I'm not sure I care to do it uh, for future builds. Nah, man, it saves like 0.2 something of a gram. It's bullshit. And it's just a nightmare. Like, it is a nightmare forever. You have to take the AIO completely. Like, you're going to want, you're going to like try to sneak the tip of your soldering iron in at some point when you have to repair it. And then you're going to melt the frame and that's going to ruin the frame. And then you got to pull it. it. It's it's not good. It's not good. It's too it's too much fun to test different motors. Um, it, it's, yeah, it, it, it really, in my opinion, it is absolutely not worth it. Um, for like the top racers, maybe. They all do it, but like freestyle is just for fun, you know? Like this should be fun. This should not be like, oh, my tiny whoop motor broke again. Oh, I don't feel like fixing it. It should be just like, oh, the tiny whoop motor broke. Awesome. Unplug, three screws, done. You know? It's, it's, uh, yeah, no, don't do it. Don't do it. It's a trap. It's a trap. <laughs> uh, Kevin the alien's got to go. Thanks for hanging, brother. Demo FPV says, I'm interested in a PC frame. Uh, don't care what color. Message me and uh, it's all yours. Here we go. Six, oh, and this is the one that I've got the uh, the fun RC, uh, the, the fun RPM. Uh, missed it. These motors. There is... There is just, there's something about these motors that is, whoa, forgot that box was there. Uh, there's something about these motors that's really cool. I can't, I haven't quite put my finger on it. My, my assumption has always been that it's the response time. Oh, it went through. I wish I hadn't bumped that cube on the way down. That would have been... Uh, but yeah, there is a, a special kind of little magic to these motors. Yeah, buddy, come on, get you some. It's not a weight thing. These weigh um, more than the 702s, but not quite as much as the EX 802s. Hey. Oh no, we backed into it. Uh, but yeah, these motors are awesome. What it might be though is that these are 30,000 kV, so there's better throttle resolution, right? I've like, gotten used to 32,000 and Christ, even 36,000 kV. Oh, I thought I would be, I could just miss it, but I was wrong. These motors aren't. As beat up as I thought. But I think we'll still... I hope we'll still be able to tell a difference. Oh, get out of there! Oh boy, this battery is done. Hey. Uh, let me go into turtle mode and spin these motors up and see what the vibrations be like. Yeah, no, I mean, I can feel it. I can definitely feel that these motors are worked. Uh, end battery, 3.6. That's a little low, but it'll be okay. 
Uh, okay. So, I need to weigh this when I pull it apart because I want to see what the what kind of a weight penalty this the, the one frame versus the other frame. Let me do uh let me do another battery. Hold on. I have more blue marker batteries so we're good. Okay, let me do just just one more battery on this. And ooh 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 ooh. I'm going to crank the pids up. That'll be a really nice way to show you the difference between work motors and uh freshies whoa i've got the pids turned way down on this what is the deal with that all right will it fly like this i wonder yeah man that was flying good for those pids being turned down so low let's keep going Come on. Easiest way to tell if you've gone too far is to do a throttle blast and chop the throttle. And if the motors don't wind down, you turn those values up too high. If the motors like, instead of just winding down instantly, if if they like, like slowly come down, you've got those, uh, you've got the D, it's basically the D gain, but. I think this battery has worked. These blue label batteries are blue marker batteries are getting old. What was that? Oh yeah, this battery is fucked. Thirty nine seconds in and it's sagging down to like three point five already. Fuck that. Ow! Oh! Oh, God. Man, I'm having a hard time backing it through that cube. Ah! Ah! Jeez, a minute and 11? Yeah, these blue, these blue marker batteries are shot. All right, let's move it. Let's move it to the other frame. Uh... No, let's put another battery through it because I wanted to push the uh, I wanted to push the pids even farther. I want to push the pids until it's too high, and then I'll back it off. Uh, and then I'll back it off a little bit, and then I'll put the fresh motors on, and I'll, I'll show you how much farther I can push the uh, the PI and D gains. Uh, King FPV says, "What's up?" Upside says, uh, "Ciati sevens." What's that mean? Just call them Micro King. Yeah, I don't want to do the the King thing. Tokyo Dom says, yes, I'm at for the Meteor 75 airframe. Can you check if the Walksnail VTX will fit? Uh, I want to know that too, so let me do it real quick. Uh, it'll be super easy for me to do it because I have everything right here. So stand by, friends. This is a That's a really good question. All right, here it is. And so I've got some leads kind of hanging out let me get these out of the way all right let's see here nope it hits yeah it hits the duct um hits the ducts pretty i mean you could probably just mash it down in there here i'll show you um but yeah like i'm pushing on it pretty good and it's not so I pushed it hard enough to get to get this one to clear. Uh, this one's kind of starting to clear as well. Um, but then, yeah, this side is not even close, nor is this side. And then you've also got like the bind button. I, I, I usually shave my bind button flat. I don't know if I did it on this one. I didn't do it on this one, but although the bind button is, is enough at the side where it's kind of a nightmare. The, the thing I, I um, I like having these up so that I have access to this plug here so I can get the footage off of them. Um, so like, yeah, I'm just, if I really push down on it, hold on. So I can, 
I can like flex if I flex the frame like this, I can kind of open the ducts up. And now let's see what happens. Yeah, I mean, you can force it in there, although there is the battery support is um, is hitting pretty bad. See that there? Right over there next to the heat sink. That battery support is really pushing hard. This is absolutely as far down as I can push it before that battery support uh, starts hitting it hard. I guess you could probably shave that away a little bit, but um, yeah, those battery supports are definitely what's um, keeping it from going down further in there. Up there on that side and come on, shit, there it is on that side. Yeah, so those battery supports would need to be clearanced pretty significantly to get it to drop down any farther. Interesting. Yeah, those battery supports are aggressive now that I look at it like this. They hang out there. Okay. Uh, but we're going to try it anyway. I mean, it, it, it'll, it'll probably work fine for me because I'm not cramming that stack down there. Uh, I'm just putting the regular flight controller down there, but I wonder if I'll have problems with the, um, the non cross style AIOs. Uh, what's happening here? We flew this battery, right? No, it's not hot. Why is it not hot? It's a fresh battery. Was I going to fly this again? Why did I put a fresh battery into it? Oh, I wanted to push the pits farther. Yeah, 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 uh, so just Google search it. It'll find it on a ton of different websites. And then I have a, um, on my Discord, I have a text channel called All Resellers. It's called All FPV Retailers with a massive list of all the retailers. Um, it's a it's it's on the Patreon only part. So you got to give me seven and a half cents an hour um, to uh, to join in there. But yeah. Uh, all FPV retailers is an amazing list of FPV shops. Uh... Hey, I'm caught up on chat. CMYK dropping the CIDFPV.com link. Thank you, dude. Okay, let's push these PIDs to infinity. Hopefully not beyond. No, no, we're, we're specifically going to go beyond. Whoa. Why does that camera look so bad all of a sudden? Something's going on with my goggles. Goggles? Be better. Simplified tuning! Let's just crank it all the way up. And then we'll bring this up to 1.8. That's usually a pretty decent uh, P to D ratio. <laughs> wow. It's like, now nah, we're good. Wow, look at that smoothness at the bottom of that move. Hey! Damn, it flies good with the pins cranked up like this. Oh my god, it just eats it! Oh my god, what was that? I pitched way too far back. Oh, God, I was hoping it would fall farther, but it didn't quite get there. I'm on the shelf. I'm on the shelf, bro. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, God, I'm on the GoPro shelf. Uh-oh. Come on. No, no, no. Get out of there. Get out of there, little buddy. No, no, no. Oh, God. Hey. Ooh, that's a new one. Oh God, this battery is done. 
These blue uh, marker batteries are just ruined. I must chop my tongue off. Oh god! <laughs> A little too close. Uh, yeah, these batteries are are aging. Um, well, these 603s are fine. Um, I put these motors onto uh, the walk snail rig, and I thought I was getting some, like, some, like, jello-y weirdness. Um, but, and maybe I was, but on... Is it, it might be because they're on the, the old school Meteor 65 frame. The, the old school Meteor 65 frame is really stiff. It, it, it really does a good job damping vibes coming from motors and props. I wonder if I put these beat ass motors on one of these lighter weight frames, if they would be a nightmare. Um, well, I'm, I'm not going to move this across frames because it's just not going to tell us anything. We're not going to gain any knowledge by doing that uh instead i'm gonna take the 75 millimeter walk snail rig and i'm gonna fly one battery on the 25,000 kv 35,000 25, kv motors and then i'm gonna move it over to the 27,000 kv motors and show you the difference so first up are the 25,000s And like I said earlier, there's pretty much no reason to get the 25,000s since we've got motor limiting. Get the 27s and motor limit them down if you don't want that extra KV. And uh, you'll be really happy you did because someday if you want that extra KV, it's there. Uh, you open the motor limiting up to 100% and away you go. Uh, let me make sure that these batteries got charged all the way though nope they're at storage voltage fuck a duck never mind uh well we can get a couple quick we can get a couple quick full throttle blasts out of them at 3.8 uh to take a look at the difference and then i've got two of them on the charger at one amp right now so <coughs> Let's do some walk snailing. Let's walk snail it up, bros. Uh, you know what I will. You know what I'll do. I know what I'll do. Uh, the six oh three thirty thousands. I will put tri blades on to get the extra power out of them since they're a little bit lower of a KV, and then we will do a comparison on the walk snail sixty five millimeter freestyle build with these motors. We will compare the 702, probably not tonight, because I'm starving, the, the 702 36,000s to these 603 30,000s, but with tri-blades. Um, and I'll hate the way that these fly because of the tri-blades. But we'll try to just keep the comparison based off of um, raw horsepower. And then... At some point, if we can get high KV 603s, we'll have that to kind of fall back on. Uh, okay. So, let's get this fired up. Hopefully, this doesn't pull the shit that it was pulling yesterday when it wasn't working. So, we're going to turn this off. And good, that's still on. Hey, and look, it's it's picking it up. Wow, that was so weird yesterday. I don't know why it was doing that? All right, so here we, we've I've I've flown this somewhat recently, um, but we're gonna do it again. This is a Mobula Seven ELRS with walk snail added in and eight oh two. Uh, oh, I got the wrong module in eight oh two twenty five thousands. I gotta swap to the ELRS 3.0 module. And 
This is a battery at storage voltage, which has already dropped down to 3.68. That battery just shit its pants. Okay. Oh, fat 75 millimeter rig, fat, 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 fat. What's interesting, this 450 mAh battery um, is, uh, the, the, the there's a huge, you can really tell a big difference between this 450 and the 300s in that it did not brown the VTX out, even though I flew that down to, what did you, I saw like 3.3 volts there. If you run one of these 300s down that low, it'll brown the VTX out. Um, just the bigger cell, even though it's, yeah, it's like, even though it's sagging down that low, there's, I don't know, it's still kind of pushing harder. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's just the, no, this is the same beta FPV. It doesn't matter anyway because I have it hooked up to uh, VBAT. Uh, that was a pretty worthless test, but I've flown this thing a bunch. I mean, look, buy the buy the twenty seven thousands. There's just no reason to buy the the lower KV motors. You're you're just going to be left wanting more, um, and you can't get more from the from the lower KV. Uh, if the twenty seven thousands go out of stock. Sure, buy the 25,000s. Um, man, I don't know about that. If you're, yeah, I mean, if you're desperate for the motors, sure, buy the 25s. At the very, like, absolute worst case, you can later later on get the 27,000s and pull the bells off the 25,000s. Um, but, yeah, the, the if the 27s are in stock... There's just no reason to to get the 25s, even if you don't think you're ever going to use the power. Um, you're you're gonna you're gonna want the extra power someday. I promise you, someday you're gonna want the extra power. What if I put the? You are looking at a true man of genius. Remember that commercial? True man, was that was that 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 was what it was, right? True man of genius. Was that Budweiser? Was that like Miller? Look how fucking afroy my hair is. It's not actually that big. It's just like the front of my hair for some reason today has really has really outdone itself. There you go. It's a helmet. Real man of genius. What was that? Was that Budweiser? You ever hear ever hear somebody call Budweiser wiser? What the fuck is wrong with those people? Sorry. If that's you. Sorry. Yo, let me get a wiser. Really? Let me get a wiser? Come on. Come on. Just don't do that to me. Say the bud part. Just relax. <laughs> Why do you guys still... <laughs> How often... Here, this is the question. How often do I say something that, like, apply... Like, how, do, how often do I trash on something that, like, directly applies to one of you guys? Like, how often are you watching and, like, I say something horrible that, like, is specifically about you? <laughs> it is Budweiser, right? Bud Light. It can't be very often because nobody would be left, right? Oh boy, we are going to try out this fucking Meteor 75 airframe right now. I know I said I wasn't going to put it into the really heavy um, setup, but I'm a liar. And I'm just desperate to get these perfectly good iGAO motors off this stupid carbon fiber frame. <laughs> One of the main things. Eugelin says, never in my life, uh, I've never in my life heard it called a wiser. Well, you're lucky. You, you haven't had to put up with the aggression, the 
the aggression to the English language that I have. Of course it happened while I, while I lived in the South. It's probably when I, when I bag on the South, right? Like when I bag on the South, um, it, that has to hurt someone's feelings, no? Or are you with me on that? Are you guys all with me on, on the whole bagging on the South approach to life? To life. Oh, God. These motors are free. They're free from their silly shackles. I hope I didn't hurt them. Having them be uh, connected to this ruthless carbon fiber. I didn't fly many batteries on them, but man, it happens quick. It really does. All right. One more and we'll be good. Perfect. Okay. Let's see what the deal is with this Meteor 75 airframe. This is cool. We got it out of the box on... Uh, mailbag and now we're immediately testing it is there any like anybody that's ever complained that i take too long to test things you happy now you ungrateful shit uh this is a no dot motor so we are going to put it all right hold on let's see if the meteor 75 pro frame uh meteor 75 air frame rather has a front and a rear nope the battery tray is completely symmetrical all right so is it yeah it is uh so aerodynamically we're gonna put the little arrow in the back i'm just gonna put the arrow in the back of everything from now on uh, so arrow in the back, that means that this is motor number three. And so I want to put a dot on motor number three. There we go. Dot on motor three and the propeller is on wrong. Maybe I'll run this thing props in. Okay, here we go. Let's mount these fuckers up and see if their notice will be better. I mean, they're a higher KV motor. <laughs> they're, they're gonna, they're gonna be better. Danzilla says, "Hey, the uh, the farther north you go, the more south, <laughs> the more south there is to bag on." Hashtag Canada is better. Hashtag Canada is better. Man, I I would love to move to Canada, but fuck the weather up there, man. Like, that shit just ain't happening. Ever. Ever, 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 ever. Like, I just, I cannot have that long of a winter and that short of a summer. I just can't do it. And, like, I know it's not that bad, but if it's any worse than where I'm at now in Atlanta... I'm going to jump off a building and it has to be, it's like way farther North. Like there's just, there's no way that it's not significantly more obnoxious than where I live now. I'm trying to move like to the equator next, yo, like, come on with this shit. This is ridiculous. Although, I mean, we are doing a really good job in um, just ass raping this planet to the point where the whole Earth is going to be nice and warm for like 10 or 15 minutes before the ice caps melt and we all flood to death and die. So, you know, water worlds, here we come. Uh, there's a little bit of resistance with these screws, and I want to make sure that I'm not fucking anything up here. Nah, you're good. I think maybe these screws are a little bit too long, but what's cool is uh, Happy Model 
drills nice big holes in their uh, PDB for the screws to to go up and and kind of clearance. Um, so yeah, it's fine. But it's something to pay attention to for sure. Uh, that's how I broke those uh, newbie drone motors. They uh, do not have relief holes in their uh, PDB or PCB? PDB. Power distribution board. Nope, PCB. PCB. My dad told me that I've been mixing up PDB and PCB. And I'm like, yeah, I, I I never, I didn't mix that up for the longest time. And then um, I was, it was when I was on that crazy website and they had PDBs on there. And now all of a sudden I have like PDB on the mind. PDB is power distribution board. It's, it's the PCB. Uh, that we used to run in the days of individual ESCs. Um, so you would have a power distribution board on the bottom of the frame, and that would break out the um, the battery voltage into uh, eight pads on the corners that you could then send to your individual ESCs on each arm. I'm almost ready for you. Transmitter now, let me turn it off. And yeah, I don't know why I keep saying PDB. Denzel loves relief holes. Uh, off Axis says, uh, Vancouver, British Columbia is nothing like the rest of Canada. Come to the West Coast, the best coast. Um, I've heard wonderful things uh, about Vancouver. But again, it's far enough north where it's just an impossibility that it's going to be a more temperate climate than Atlanta, Georgia. And thus... It can go straight to hell. <laughs> also, who the hell wants to be on West Coast time? <sighs> I'd have to do this stream at like 3 a.m. <laughs> West Coast time. <laughs> Come on, get in there. There we go. All right. Motors are in. They should be in the correct locations. Although the frame that I'm taking it out of, they're not in the correct location. So I'm going to have to put it into beta flight anyway. But I'm just going to do this from now on. I'm, I'm just going to put the motors in the right spots from now on. And pretty quickly it'll... I'll work itself out. Denzel the Terrible says, let's all... I can't see it because fucking YouTube put this stupid little heart in the bottom right corner. Let's all M something uh, uh, meet up with Off Axis this summer for some long range madness. Um, uh, well, no, J-Spin, like, to, to be able to do these streams so that... Oh, wait, no, you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, this stream would... I'd have to do everything earlier in the day. Actually, be kind of nice. Uh, I don't really do the long range thing. I'm not a long range kind of guy. It's too scary. I don't want to lose thousand dollars worth of quad out in Never Never Land. I don't want to have to learn GPS. Come on. I have two rigs with GPSs like ready to go, and I've just completely avoided learning anything about it to get them set up. Orange shit is super cool though. I'm super jealous. All right, here we go. Let's get this thing out of this frame and into. The brand new Meteor 75 airframe. There we go. Okay, little walk snail stack. Get out of there.
Get out of there. Okay, okay, okay. But first, we're gonna weigh both of these. These have the exact same motors in them, so this should be a fair comparison here. They also have the same props on them. So, Mobula 7 V4 frame with the one and a half millimeter motor shaft uh, Tiny Whoop motors is 14.85 grams. Uh, Meteor 75 airframe with the iGal motors is 13.8 grams. 13.8 versus 14.8. I'll be damned. They lightened it up by a whole gram. That's pretty damn good. There's a really nice amount of weight savings. Um, the question obviously becomes, is it durable? And I'm not going to be able to find that out for a while because I'm, I'm just not going to bang these things off of uh, jungle gyms until the temperature comes up a little bit. Although today it was really nice out. So maybe the temperature is coming back. I think I'm, I, I think Maggie did mention that there's going to be like a 70 degree day coming up. Uh, so you never know. Maybe I will be able to uh, test this frame a little bit. Um, unfortunately, though, I've never... Um, I've never uh, beat up on one of these Walksnail 75 millimeter rigs to know how much abuse they should be able to take. Uh, so if I get this out there and the frame breaks after five batteries, uh, I'm going to have to then frame swap it and do it all over again to see how long the, the uh, Mobula 7 V4 frame lasts. So although... I guess that doesn't really matter as much. If it if it breaks that quickly, then this might just not be a valid freestyle rig for for like hard 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 smashing, right? Like it might just be like, yes, this is a freestyle rig, but you can't abuse it. It's like a like a light freestyle rig. Sounds weird. Man, I need some, I think I might need some M12 by 14s. These screws, I wish they were a little longer. Um, or I guess I could run, I could try to run less thick grommets. But man, no, I don't, I don't have that much clearance. I don't really have enough clearance to to kind of do that. But if, and, and these M, uh, M1.2 by 12s were the longest that I could find. I, I did not see any M1.2 by 14s on eBay or, or anywhere for that matter. But if you can find M1.2 by 14s, those are the screws I think that you want for this. Um, I'm going to bet you that, uh, what's going to break first is these screws uh, uh sorry are the plastic posts on the frame uh just because i can't get these screws down as far as i want to in those plastic posts uh, the side ones and the rear ones i can get pretty good. It's the front one that I'm kind of worried about, but the, this canopy does not, man, that seems really strong though. Yeah, I don't know. I'll be super interested to see what breaks first on this. Hopefully it's not the camera. I, I really, that's what I'm most worried about. I, I guarantee you at Rampage this year, I blast the shit out of at least one or two of these um, Walksnail light cameras. They are going to eat shit for sure um just basically because of how much they hang out of this mobula 6 canopy um you know like it looks like a fucking anteater like look at it look at that 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 camera lens is gonna die for sure but hey you gotta pay to play <laughs> uh I mean, I'm trying to do. There is uh, the Beta FPV canopy. 
Uh, and that, so that's what I should probably do. Uh, on the especially on the seventy five, I, I won't do that on the sixty five because man, that thing needs to be absolutely as light as possible. But on this seventy five, I will almost certainly move this to the beta FPV canopy uh, because it tucks the lens in, uh, and that'll at least have the the lens protected. I can't believe they use a um, a uh, uh, 3D printed canopy on that Rotoriot Vision rig. It's basically the same thing as this, but with a significantly heavier AIO in it. 30.5 grams all up. Fat. Fat McFatterson. Don't fat shame, though, friends. Don't do it. Chubby McGee. Chubby McGillicuddy is what we'll nickname this rig. All right, let's get these motors spinning in the right direction. And these batteries aren't totally charged, but neither was that first one. So I guess it's more of a fair fight, but it's not going to be a fair fight. Here we go, modes. Nope, motors. Oh, God, this is the rig that's on 4.4.3. Please don't go full, full stank, motors. Please don't go full stank. Please don't go full stank. Please don't go full stank. Hey, thank you. Motor one is wrong. Why is it wrong? What the hell? You jerk. Motor two is wrong. Bet you they're all wrong. Motor three is right. Why? And motor four is wrong. What the fuck? Oh, this is the one where I have to make the changes in. Wait, no, it's fine now. Nope, it's not fine. Wait, what? Motor 3 is wrong. They were all wrong. That makes no sense. Now. Uh, that's No, 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 that makes total sense because no, it doesn't. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, these props are on wrong though. All these props are on wrong. So I was about to say, let's run it props in, but I ain't doing that. That's stupid. I have it set up for pro I think I have it set up for props out. Do I have it set up for props out? I do have it set up for props out. Let's get these. Let's get these props under the right motors. Why? Wh why are why are all the motors wrong? What the hell? I put the, the no dot and the dot and the no dot. I might have it jacked up in the ESC configurator, I guess. I think I might have had to do something in the ESC configurator on this one. I think I maybe remember that. TMYK says, uh, Mobula 7 frames both only lasted two batteries. Meteor 75 for the win. Maybe. What's up, Dad? How are you? Somebody just call my dad Solder Dad. Right 9. Right 9 says, hi, Solder Dad. Newt McFly says, uh, build a little 1S and send it a few miles. Pretty sure it won't go miles, but you never know. I mean, I, I put one 1,400 feet up, and that's fighting gravity. Well, long range is fighting gravity the whole time, but it has, like, double fighting gravity. Oh, my God, I can't get this. Uh, I can't get this one propeller off. Come on, you jerk. Uh, see, get a little bit of... Uh, this drawer liner material. It's really nice to uh, to get a grip on these motors. Uh, the Meteor frames have like three openings big enough for your fingies to get through, and that's super annoying. One of the things I love about the uh, Mobula 7 frame is you can get your fingies, it's got four openings, which makes it way easier to, to grip the base of the motor. Uh, this is going to be annoying. But, I mean, it's nice that these props do stay on. I guess, if we look on the bright side of everything. Hey, there we go. All I needed was the drawer gripper material. <clears throat> Jesus. <clears throat> Come on, you filthy whore. Over there. I think I might have just spun the motor shaft on the bell. Fuck. Mm -hmm. 
let's see what I can do with this. Come on, buddy. Just pop off of there, please. <sighs> Good lord. Oh, there we go. Yikes. That was nasty. That was on there. Mm. The first one came off okay. I mean, it fought me a little bit, but this one is just like welded on there. I hate when this happens because like I end up having to kind of put so much force into the prop that it feels like I'm bending the blades all up. Good God, man. All right, so the, the one and a half millimeter motor shaft props from Gem Fan feel a little too tight. That is, that is outrageous. Oh my God, yeah, it's like ding, 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 like coming up off the, you know, doing that thing. Woo, boy, that was a battle. Hopefully these aren't as bad. Hopefully it was just that one. Nope. Wow. Okay. That's rough. Mm. Now nah, this one was nowhere near as bad. This one was nowhere near as bad. Um, I might have been a little enthusiastic when I pushed these things down on these motors. Because I know these motors make really good thrust. So it's like, yeah, get the prop down on them, yo. Mm. Oh, wow, this one's the worst yet. Oh, God, what the hell? All right, this under here. Mm. Mm. Yo. Oh, there it goes. Jeez. Mm. Mm. Shit. Oh, boy. That is brutal. There's a chance that I just bent the shit out of three of these motors. The one and a half mil shaft helps because it's up, but it's up on top. It's not down through the motor. Um, I don't know. Maybe they're okay. It's hard to tell. Okay. This is the last thing we're doing. Jesus. Uh, let me make sure I'm putting these on the right spot. Yeah, props out. Oh boy. What is happening with these? Jesus. Hold on. I have a, uh, I have a little drill bit here. I have a little 1.47 millimeter drill bit. I'm going to run the, run this around real quick. In these props, see if I can take off a little material. Now, I think these motor shafts might be a little oversized. Hold on, I have another one. Well, 1.7 mil reamer. Let's get this reamer in there, see if it'll take a little material out. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, this is going to take a little material out. Cool, cool, cool. All right, get in there. Just take a little, just a little bit, just a little bit. All right, one, two. Just putting like a little bit of side load on it. <laughs> Denzel says try greasing the shaft. Yikes. All right. It's not removing, like, like there's no plastic coming out, but, like, I can feel that it's doing something. Oh, and twice in a row, yeah, it's the top of the, it's the top of the hole in the propeller. All right, that should be enough to, uh, to have these not be quite so obnoxious. Maybe I'll just leave them on forever. Okay, here we go. 
Let's try this again. Uh, when you're putting propellers on, if you have to really push hard on them, it's your it's it's gonna stay on there forever. This is way better. Um, so yeah, if you're if you're having to push super hard on a propeller, stop, take it off, and uh, figure something out. Oh, this one is this one is very unhappy though. Hold on, I'm gonna run that through the little reamer again. What about this guy? Ah, oh, Jesus, no. Yeah, see. And there were, okay, now this this one's fine. All right, so that one's totally fine. Uh, I gotta hit these again though. I can't just smash them on there. Like, just forcing them down on there is gonna guarantee that when I go to pull them off, I either wreck the motor or the prop or something. Yeah, and see, when I put that through there, it was really rough. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna run this, just instead of spinning the reamer, I'm just gonna mash it in and out yeah there we go that removed some actual plastic that time okay yeah 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 okay this is actually removing some plastic i'm, I'm like really side loading it as much as i can to get it to kind of dig in all right let's see Hey, much better. Much, 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 much better. There it is. All right. Yeah, there it is. Perfect. Okay. One point, it's made by Kyocera, K-Y-O-C-E-R-A, 1.47 millimeter reamer. But if, if you can just get a 1.47 mil drill bit, that's fine. Um, I think I found these on Amazon. They're fucking expensive, man. They're They're like, 10 or 12 dollars each but they're you're gonna use them forever uh okay i think this will fly now right we did the things we did the things everything seems to fit fine in this frame Ooh, that's nice the uh these batteries fit a little bit loose in the um in the Mobile 7 V4 battery bay. And so I put a little piece of black electric tape on them. Uh, they wouldn't go into this battery tray with that electric tape on them. Uh, and I would rather have that. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. These fit way better in this frame. Um, battery sits kind of far back. I guess it's, it's actually really well centered. Uh, pretty good CG right there. Uh, okay. Uh, goggles on. This button. Uh, transmitter on. Go, 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 go. It's going to overheat. It's probably already overheating. I thought about turning it on and it immediately started to overheat. Here we go. Uh, come on, little fellas. Oh, wait. I can just arm it and get it to uh, make some airflow. What? There it goes. Fuck is that? Oh god, the right front motor is not spinning at all. What's happening? Oh fuck, I ruined one of these motors. Now, one motor is hitting the the wires. This the, one of these motors is <sighs> impossible to spin. I ruined it. Fuck off. Yeah, there's a ton of resistance on this one motor. It could be the C-clip. Hopefully it's the C-clip. It's not the C-clip. Yeah, no, I bent the motor shaft, I guess. Let's take a look. No, it looks okay. Uh, hold on. Yeah. 
Mm. Where's all that resistance coming from? All right, let's pull and push on the motor shaft. There's a chance that um, the the motor shaft started to slip in the bell, and the um, and so now the C clip is pushed really hard up against the bottom bushing, and you can usually fix that by just pulling on the motor bell. So like you can like put your fingers through the bottom and like just push up on the motor bell. Mm. Is that any better? A little bit better. There's still a lot of resistance there. Yeah, no, that's exactly what happened. Um so yeah. I did notice that on one of these motors when I was trying to get the prop off the the shaft was spinning on the bell yep and it's doing it now yep so that's exactly what happened so yeah i mean this motor is technically wrecked but uh i'm gonna try to salvage this just for the time being but yeah this motor is ruined um from the prop that was that was on there too tight this, this is the problem with propellers that fit too tight on motors this is exactly what happens um, you end up ruining the motor. It's a shame. Let's see if that's better. Hey, there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Well, this will work for a while, and then the the motor shaft will start spinning really bad on the bell, and then it'll have to go. Uh, what you want, if here's how you know if that's happening or not. If you spin, and, and this goes for like five inch motors too. If you spin a motor, actually just listen, just listen, ready? All right, I'm gonna do another one. So you hear how it goes, brr, brr, the the clicking is my fingernail against the plastic of the propeller so you can hear that down here but then now it's it's my finger skin finger skin finger skin finger skin fingernail 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 so when when you spin them you should be able to spin a motor around like this and the the magnets when when you spin it on the bottom against your fingernail the prop should be pulled away from your fingernail from the magnet cogginess and then your fingernail should hit it. And then it should pull away, and then your fingernail should hit it. That's what produces that sound. That means that the motor is spinning very freely. Freely enough to pull the propeller away from your finger when when you're doing that. If you if you feel if you twist a motor and it feels like it's not spinning totally clear, you can do that little trick. And if you don't get that little noise, and you can kind of feel it, um, yeah, if it's not spinning free enough, you can really hear it on this one. If it's not spinning free enough to pull the prop off your finger and then your finger comes around and chases it, um, it's too, uh, it's got too much bind, right? That's what's happening, it's binding up. Here we go, this should be way better. Hey, ooh. Yeah, there's a, an immediate difference in uh, in the uh, just the the response. It just jumped off the ground. Let me check these on here. Let me do that same test on here. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. So these motors were okay. Here we go. There it is. It's about to get angry. All right, battery's all the way down to four volts. We won't hold it against it. Oh God. Oh no. 
All right. Freestyle. Oh, boy. It's still fat. I, I know it's a gram lighter. But it is still... A fatty McFatterson! Oh man, it's just, oh, it just slides so much. It's so hard to keep it going where you want it to go. I need to get this thing onto the 1002s. I'm, uh... Somebody had mentioned in chat a couple weeks ago that they did this exact build and the 802 27,000s were just not enough. Um, and yeah, I get it now. I don't think that they said that the 1002s were that much better though. Maybe they did. I, I kind of forget. It's been a while now. Yikes. Right, let's get this in and get it on a little bit fresher of a battery, I guess. I don't know. This is, um, man. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, look, I, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting way too much of this. Way, 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 way too much of this. And this is not an indoor rig. Um, and I'm trying to do the indoor things that I do with all the other stuff. Well, here's a fully charged battery. That's exciting. Let's see how it is on an absolutely fresh 450 mAh uh, folded cell battery. I gotta pull the electric tape off all these. Ooh, I love that this uh, Meteor 75 airframe is a gram lighter. That's that's huge. Uh, and I can remove some more weight with these uh, pieces of electric tape. That's really, really nice. Let me see if I can get a little bit less up tilt on this too. Yeah, there we go. Hold on. Hold on, let's loosen this and then we'll retighten it. Oh yeah, that's a bunch less up tilt. I like that. But now I'm gonna start to pick up ducts in view, I'll bet, but that's okay. That's okay, ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's better. Okay, round two. What? What's happening here? Get! Oh, battery lead got all jacked up. Battery lead got all jacked off. I had to take care of that first. There it is. Okay, let's see how this goes. Absolutely fresh battery right off the charger. Lower up tilt. Should make me a little bit more comfortable and slow us down a little bit. Oh, we've got a load of duct in view now, though. That's what she said. Christ, there's even propeller in view. Let me just concentrate for a minute here. Oh, God. Oh, man. Yeah, this needs... This needs more power! Yeesh! Hee! Oh, boy! <laughs> Damn, yo, it, it, it is just, like, these motors are crazy on the analog, uh, Jungle Gym Basher. On this, like, it, it they're not crazy. <laughs> oh, God. Um, I cannot believe how fat this thing feels with these... Motors. Oh boy. This is not a rig I want to get stuck in my hair. Man, I have to just sit on the throttle to do the Ciati loops. Huh. 
this might really come alive outside. Um, uh, I don't know. Ah! Ay! Mirror flip. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Does good mirror flips. Let's sneak up on a mirror flip. Oh, it does beautiful mirror flips because it's bigger. Easy. Let's get one more mirror flip. Come on. Oh, that's the zoom in, zoomed in mirror flip. Hey! Two minutes and 36. What the hell? Wow, that's some shitty runtime. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. Wow, look at the fucking tune. Jeez. <laughs> oh, that is a that is a ton of PI and D gain. <laughs> Nike's. Um Wow. I am not impressed. I mean, it's a little bit better for sure. 2,000 extra KV will do that. Battery's not, like, burning hot. So it's not... It's not, like, overworking the battery. Um... Huh. Why you no know have more power-to-weight ratio, buddy? Uh... I mean, outside, flying it outside, the lack of, um, so one of the biggest things I feel in here is a lack of acceleration, a lack of pop. And outside, that won't be nearly as noticeable because I'm not going to be trying to do such tight technical things. Um, so yeah, me Wow. I expected so much more from this. Uh, but again, I, I'm, I'm definitely expecting way too much from this. Uh, let me fly this upstairs. Let me fly this upstairs for just a second. Ooh, uh, let's look at RSSI too and see if the, uh, the RSSI is any better tonight. Oh god, I gotta take the electric tape off all these batteries. I hope that this frame is durable. Because... If it's not, I'm gonna have to put all this electric tape back on these batteries for the Mobula 7 V4 frame. But again, I don't even know if the Mobula 7 V4 frame is gonna be um, durable with all this weight behind it. Taking this upstairs will give me a little bit better of an idea of how it's gonna be outside. Well, we flew a bunch of different rigs tonight. Now, here we go. Here we go. This will be a nice... Oh, God, it's dark. Oh, God, it's too dark. Oh, boy! I can't see. Fuck all. Hold on. I can, uh... I can... <coughs> I can add a little bit of light. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And we want the, uh, 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 that's the, uh, shit, what's that lamp called? Loft white umbrella. Cool white, 100%. That'll add a little bit of light up there. Did it just go green? Why did it go green? Shouldn't be green. I want you to be cool white. Should be cool white. There we go. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? There we go. Alright. Let's see how it is up here. Yeah, it feels better. 
It feels better for sure once it has some space to... Oh, it still feels fat, though. Oh, boy, it still feels fat. Uh, it does feel a little bit better, though. I think with in, in a jungle gym setting, it is going to be... Oh, boy. I don't know about this, man. Whew. Uh, I hope it comes alive on the 1002s. Yikes. Let me do this. Let me see if these motors are getting too hot. Oh, shit. All I had to do was not crash. Oh, you fuck. Just gotta hammer it, get a bunch of full throttle into it, and then get it back here. Our SSI is still pretty low. Alright, are these motors hot? No. I I've never been able to catch a hot Tiny Whoop motor. Yeah, no, they're not hot. Um, they could be, like, overheating in the moment, though. Like, they, they could be overheating, and then by the time I get it back, they're cooling down. Well, you know what I can do? What's this battery at? 3.7? All right, I'm going to pull these goggles off, and I'm just going to be ultra sketchy here. They're a little warm. They have some temperature to them. I've never felt any temperature in Tiny Whoop motors. Um, I mean, they're not boiling hot, though. Like, it... I think they're fine. Hmm. This is challenging, man. This is challenging finding the right motor for this uh, 75 millimeter walk snail setup. Uh, I don't think it's going to be the 1002s. It might be. I could be wrong. Uh, I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to try the Meteor 75 Pro frame too. I'm going to have to try the uh, the bigger propellers to try to figure this out. I don't think that frame is going to be very durable, though. Morton Upshot says, looking forward to the Tiny Whoop 1002 Danger onesies in 25,000 KV. Is that a real thing? And then he says, hint. Um, uh, my dad says, uh, if you can hold them, they're under uh, 120 Fahrenheit. You know, it's funny you say that. That I remember that from, like, forever ago in FPV. Um... That I think it was Joshua uh, that actually said that that 120 is the point where like you'll uh, have to pull your hand off and see the batteries aren't boiling hot right and and like that's a that's a good thing that means that we have some um, that means that we can ask more of them basically. Uh... Hmm. I don't think Happy Model makes a 1002. Um, and so I can't just ask Jesse to like, hey, can you make a super high KV 1002? Like I, I, although he might be able to figure out who is making 1002s. No, that's not true. Happy Model does make a 1002, but it's out of balance. It's not a balanced 1002. Um, these, these Flywoo 1002s, I'm pretty sure that these are just RC and power. Um, I wonder if Jesse could get in touch with RC and power and have a really high KV set of 1002s made. Uh, that would be incredible. Uh, Morton Upshot says, Mob Light 7 has Happy Model 1002 20,000. Yeah, I've tried the Happy Model 1002s before and they were not balanced. Um... It's hard to balance these little motors. Uh, I'm tempted to try this thing on the 33,000 KV EX802s and just motor limit them down to like 30. Um, 
but they're so light, it's it's not a fair comparison. These full can 802s are significantly heavier. I don't know. Interesting. I'll obsess over this for days and days and days. And uh, figure something out. Hmm. Interesting. Well, next step is to try it on the 1002s, and we're not doing that today. It's late. I'm hungry. It's been almost four hours. Uh, but we tested a, a, you know, mad motor testing success. We, we flew a whole bunch of shit. I, I told you as much as I possibly could while I was flying them. Um, and so, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. I certainly did. This is fun. Uh, you know, this is a, a, a whole new platform, right? Like this Walksnail Light shit has not been a, out for very long. And... You never know. Maybe once this is like all the way outside and bouncing around the jungle gym, maybe we'll like the extra throttle resolution from having less power to weight ratio. I doubt it. Um, but you never know. I wonder how long this, this camera lens is going to last slamming into metal jungle gym poles. Morton Upshot says, uh, trying to use the power of suggestion to make it happen, start a rumor and someone will do it. Nice. Burn Upshot says, what uh, flight controller is in that? Uh, this is the Beta FPV Cross, uh, the one that all the racers run. Pairs really well. The pad layout works really well with the Walksnail setup. Um, it's one of the lightest uh, flight controllers available, which is great. Um, and it's somewhat reliable. So, yeah, if, if you're going to do one of these Walksnail builds, I highly recommend using the Beta FPV Cross. Uh, well... We're going to end it there, my friends. We'll uh, Maybe we'll do the 1002 swap on Friday in addition to... There was something else I wanted to do on Friday. Play around more with the 0603s, I guess. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for hanging, buddies. CIDFTV.com to support me if you want to see these live streams continue. I greatly appreciate everything that all of you guys do. Um, yeah. Be good, my friends. Here comes the rest of the... Uh, uh, cool knife edge mirror building edit uh, with random music put on top. I forget the name of this edit on my channel, but you'll find it by the thumbnail. Autumn Haze, huh? Let's do it. Be good, friends. Bye-bye! I'll see you Friday. Mm.